Mickey Mack started 12 games for LSU last year, Coach. He's going to be a facilitator and get the ball to Anais. To be that big-time NFL guy, this is it. He's going into a hostile environment, yeah. down some weapons, mm. and they're going to look to him to carry this team on the field, and, and it's going to be a big test for him. He looks the part. Yeah. And look, say what you want about Manny Diaz when he left. There's talent there for some of these youngsters to step up in a hostile environment, a and in bounce-back mode after last week against Appalachian State. Miami looking for their first win against a ranked opponent non-conference since 2017. It's been a while. We've got so much more to get to, including some of the ACC standouts. Just off the top of your head. Reggie Bush had something important taken from him. So Sight, don't touch my burger. Yeah. Yes, sir. Y'all can't. When you have auto glass damage, let safe light come. Quarterback does so well. You know what? His leadership's fantastic. Satterfield trying to figure things out. Big road win last week at UCF in comeback fashion. Florida State won the toss and deferred. Jawar Jordan takes it from inside his own five. And Jordan tiptoes across the 20. Penalty marker flies. Several and one flew about 30 yards. Stuart Mullins. Uh, Holding. 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 Number 34. Return team. 10 yard penalty. First down. That'll back up Malik Cunningham and company deep in their own territory. And the fifth year senior on the verge of all of these records approaching Lamar Jackson's greatness, Andre. He was great a week ago. It took some time to get going after an early touchdown march at the bounce house. What can he do tonight? Well, I, I think he's got to do a lot when you when you look at it, make plays with his legs, and he's got to be consistent. The way he was in this game against Florida State a year ago, you watch the film on him; he was electric, especially early in the ball game. From the 11, first snap from scrimmage, Cunningham flush, and the pass falls incomplete. Trying to spot Braden Smith, who was open and had a step. Pressure came in by Kalen Deloach. Yeah, Braden Smith had three catches last week. Again, in that game against UCF, and they were three big, big catches that helped propel Louisville back into the game. You know, some in the second half, he made a big play in the second half. Got to get him going early along with Bruce and Hudson. Jordan, the running back, he'll get the carry, a gap run, and the march ahead towards the 15. Stopped by Tatum Bethune. Yeah, that was one of the concerns for Scott Satterfield, the head coach, was. The defensive front of Florida State, especially the two defensive tackles inside. It looks like Malcolm Ray is getting the start tonight along with Robert Cooper, but two big body guys inside, hard to move, tough at the point of attack. First big play early, you saw Jordan as the starting running back. No Tyon Evans, no Jalen Mitchell tonight, we've been told, for the cards in the offensive backfield. We'll see Travion Cooley later this evening. Cunningham with time into the flats, and that's going to be short of the line to gain. The reception was made by Marshawn Ford, the tight end. How about a three and out force by this FSU team? Yeah, huge, and had him backed up. Renard Green was there uh, on the stop, but when you look at it, I think he had other places to go with the football. I think Tyler Hudson was open. They were already at the first down marker. And you're looking for guys that run routes and get to the marker, sit it down in zone coverage. That's where you go with the football. Micah Pittman drops back deep to receive. Bassett punt. End over in and short. And sailing out of bounds near the 40. Punt of 41 yards. Good. You see the production there when he's in the huddle and on the field as opposed to when he's not. Travis, the quarterback, Trayshawn Ward, the former walk-on, flanks him to the right, out of the shotgun. Play action for Travis, heaves one deep, pass is caught. Cameron McDonald off and running. McDonald near side, drug down in the red zone, and that's going to be a big gain of just over 40 yards. Well, it just looked like a coverage bust. And it, it almost seemed as though Louisville didn't have enough players on the field. He kind of leaks out late. You get guys biting on the play action and the tight ends running wide open down the field. Perry, the lasso tackled the shoestrings. Third catch of the season for McDonald. And a handoff for a short gain, two, maybe three by Ward. When you, early in a game like this, you've got points in your back pocket, pretty much. Florida State already in field goal range for Ryan Fitzgerald. Now you just, you know, you're thinking about 
big play to the end zone. Somebody's got to get lined up on the slots at the top. Nobody's there. Finally getting out there a little bit late. Cards have been stout defensively. No points allowed in the last 10 drives. They'll set up the screen. Ward has it. And sit down back of the 20. Loss of two on the play. Yasir Abdullah was there ready and waiting. And a team captain. Got leads by example. He's the team's best pass rusher. And kind of senses that things aren't right. That he's being allowed to rush a little bit too freely. Read the screen perfectly. And then dropped him for a loss. Big down here for Louisville. Want to hold after giving up that big play to McDonald, the tight end. You want to force a field goal attempt right here. Wilson lines up in the slot. He's been one of the favorite targets of Jordan Travis early this season. Here's pressure. Travis escapes on the move. Passes. Real dead. It'll be first down and goal. The grab by Johnny Wilson. And Jarvis Brownlee in pretty good. And you got to give credit where credit's due. Jordan Travis puts this ball where only his receiver is going to catch it. And this is on a full sprint to throw it that accurately. That's outstanding. Perfect start for JT. Three for three for 57 yards. And the Knowles on the move. To Ophelia, the running back. Travis to the air, wide open for the easy touchdown. He's so concerned with the running game. Pack in the box, everybody biting on play action. And Alex Atkins, their offensive coordinator, kind of reading the pulse of Louisville. Two ends. One to McDonald, and then the second one to Daniel, the touchdown reception. head coach of the Memphis Tigers. How about this start by the Knowles on the road coming off the open Huge. date. Huge. Big time. Just underway. Jordan Travis Andre silky smooth under pressure. Yeah. Touch on. They wear a perfect start for Jordan Travis. Yeah. 41 yard play action pass. To big Cameron McDonald got this thing going and then it's third down and long full sprint Jordan Travis able to find Johnny Wilson then the play action pass again bites Louisville getting Monty Montgomery basically twice to bite on the play action and a nice little touch over the top four I see lights yeah four four for 59 yards and a nice start for Jordan Travis. Three for three against the Blitz as well. And the Icy Whites look a little better if you're a Florida State fan after that opening drive by the Knowles. If you're Malik Cunningham and you're Louisville, after what just happened, what's the message after the early three and out? Well, don't press. Just run the offense. You go back to that third down where he had a couple of receivers open. And he chose to stay right on a guy that was moving. They'd already sit down and were past the first down marker and were open. Just got to go through your progressions, see it, and deliver the football. Don't try to go match Florida State right here. Just put, it, put together a nice drive. Cards got off to the great start each of the last two meetings against Florida State. Different five tonight. Jordan in the backfield. Cunningham delivers a strike. That'll move the chains. D. Wiggins has a first down and tripped up near the 45 after a gain of 20. Like the throw. I like the timing and the route by D. Wiggins. They've been waiting to get him unleashed, but just in rhythm. And that's where a guy like Malik Cunningham can he can do some things. He can hurt you through the air. He can hurt you when he pulls it down to make plays and he's going to have several opportunities to do that. We got transfer wide receivers all over the joint tonight. Jordan straight ahead punishing finish dropped by Robert Cooper in near midfield. That's a gain of five. And they've got when they are healthy four guys that can really really go get it for this Louisville offense in the backfield. Two of them out tonight. Evans is out along with Jalen Mitchell. The other two stepping in Jordan and Cooley. Trevor Reed banged up left tackle senior out of Griffin Georgia injury timeout will step aside Florida State on top early.
to replace Trevor Reed at left tackle. Started one game a year ago. Jordan remains in at running back. It'll be second down and five. Jordan off left tackle and stopped a yard short. They go right behind Michael Gonzalez. He was their top recruit in the, in the 2021 class and had a bunch of ACC schools looking at him. Louisville, of course, and Duke, North Carolina State. Cards will utilize a little bit of tempo. A hold for Jordan. That's a first down. Stays on his feet. Jordan driving. Finally stopped at the 32. That's going to be a gain of 14. Jones brought him down. He laid the lumber that time, Andre. Boy, they're going left, and then they go right, and they get a couple of great blocks by the offensive line. an opportunity tonight with Evans out. We'll stop this play before it gets going. Part of the snap. Really on the previous play, if the runner was not down, is under further review. Well, fortunately, we have our rules expert, Matt Austin, in the house with us tonight, which we are extremely ecstatic about. And as we speak, he's taking a look at the same replay sequence you're getting ready to see. Stadium is rocking. Louisville on the move. You be the judge. Was he or was he not down? Call on the field stands. We turn to Matt Austin. Matt, what did you see? Yeah, I think they actually could have confirmed this if they wanted to spend a little more time. But the knee definitely swept across the top of the turf without touching. The elbow was not down. That was a good call. So instead... After contact, a little yak. Now from the 32. And Jordan picks up a nice gain. The tackle by McLennan. Louisville on the move. Yeah, and Jawar Jordan, he is making the most of this. He had a great camp, and they wanted to get him a few more carries. He's obviously got to do it tonight with Evans out and Mitchell out. And he's really showing himself tonight, showing well early. After four straight runs, Cunningham pulls it out, has a man in zone. Contact, and that's going to be pass interference and a first down for the Bill. Right, flags came from everywhere, face guarding, and is not, not even attempting to make a play and running into the receiver in the process is Green. Mari Huggins Bruce, the intended target, and that's going to be easy. And it's kind for of this veteran officiating crew. Kind of surprising, Roy, right? because defense number eight, 15 yard penalty, and an automatic first down. And defensive coordinator Adam, Adam Fuller told us he's playing the best at corner. Right now, early in the season, you know, he would kind of say he was his best cover man, and well, this is not even making an attempt to cover, just shadowing the receiver, covering him up, but running into him as well. Fast moving first quarter, 15 yard penalty. First down from the 12, Jordan deep handoff, makes one man miss, will push the pile inside the 10. Tatum Bethune went backwards and a nice gain on first down. Man, Jordan's not that big. He goes about 180 pounds. Kind of reminds you if you're old school, like Tony Dorsett. You know, he wasn't big at his height. He was 185 pounds, but not afraid to run, obviously, through the tackles. Ran all the way to the Hall of Fame, didn't he? And Bethune, the injured Seminole. And, it, and it's it was Jordan that delivered that blow on Bethune. The transfer from UCF. He's been playing some really good football. Smart player, super fast, sideline to sideline player that I mentioned it transferred in. He's on the Butkus watch list here early in the season. They put everybody on those lists, don't they, this yeah. early? Everybody makes a list of some sort if you're a starter. <laughs> Paul Carcaterra, I think, is on that <laughs> yeah, he's list. He's on a list. I could be mistaken. Watch Bethune absorbing that collision from Jordan. Just gets pushed back. And may have been friendly fire with Jamie Robinson coming in late and, land, and hitting Tatum Bethune. Grabbing that right arm for the moment. The junior out of Miami. Got to know him fairly well down in Orlando the last couple of years. Well, his high school wins a lot of football games down in Florida, don't they? Miami Central. Yes, sir. After all that, second down and six. Hopefully Bethune's okay. And they've got a slot receiver. And I think it's Brandon Smith that's working on a linebacker. Keep your eyes there. Cunningham straight ahead. Cunningham Ooh. end zone for the touchdown. Ooh. I'm going to 
to give it to you and take it away, Jamie Robinson. Unbelievable. That's the quickness and the dual threat ability of Malik Cunningham. This is a designed quarterback run that was called in the huddle. He gets about six to eight of those a game, according to his head coach, Scott. Turner on for the point after. And just like that, we are tied at seven. 40th career touchdown, real kind of back and forth nature of this game is any indication. Uh, sit back, grab some popcorn. Let's. Good one headed our way right now. The call back deep to receive. Two yards deep. There goes Sam McCall. Hit hard, stays alive, tumbles across the 20. And our second look at Jordan Travis, Paul. We've got quite the quarterback matchup tonight here in Louisville. And I'll tell you what, Jordan Travis means business this season. And quarterback coach Tony Kokars recently said this past offseason with the steps he's taken with his mind, his body, as a leader taking ownership not only of the offense but the team as a whole, you'll continue to see some huge steps for 13 in white. And I'll tell you what, Andre, watching some tape, he's throwing the ball different this year, too. Yeah, I mean, he uh, he brings stability, Cart, to the position that Florida State hadn't had in a while. He is a winner, and that was after transferring from right here in Louisville. Was in the same quarterback room as Malik Cunningham. Five for five to start. Swing passes there, and a nice gain on first down. Goes to Micah Pittman. Michael Pittman, younger brother of, of Michael, who is a big-time receiver with the Indianapolis Colts. His dad played pro football. Dre, you see Jordan Travis's completion percentages by the year, and they have been on the steady up and up. He's a good, he's a, a, a ball. When you turn the film on, you can have, can't help but be impressed with what he does. Trey Benson, the new little, little FSU offside. running back. I think so. Yeah, Ben Perry. We're talking about it a long time, though. Maybe influenced. Certainly someone in red was across the line of scrimmage when the ball was snapped. Yeah, it was Perry. Full start, number yeah. three, offense. And there's a reason why. Second down. It was Benson. Trey, what are you doing back there, buddy? Be why they go three deep at that position. Benson, Tua Feely, and Ward. We'll see all three. The first game of the season, all three backs for Florida State went over 100 yards. They'll empty the backfield after the infraction. Second and eight. Travis across the middle, make it first and ten. Johnny Wilson is second catch and another big gainer for the Arizona State transfer. throw by Travis that beats coverage the timing of the throw throughout the defensive back has no chance whatsoever gain of 23 on second and long and Travis threading the needle early Wilson again into Louisville territory and a five-yard pickup on first down and it's obvious they want to get Johnny Wilson all six foot seven 230 pounds 235 pounds of him involved he is a complete receiver that can do it all they will line him up in multiple positions but coming in he's a big big focal point here early in this game plan seven for seven to start for Jordan Travis matches his best start going back to last season against Florida Darion Wills Williamson rather loses three on the jet sweep action. Yaya Diaby sniffed that one out. Yeah, Diaby has made some great plays here early, and they're really wanting him to turn it on this season. Kind of giving him some freedom along the defensive line. One of those big defensive ends. Ian Galati on the other side, but he's got tremendous speed for his size at 6'4, 270. 
It's loud on third down. Travis surveys all night to throw. Comeback is there, and that's a first down. Pokey Wilson makes his first grab, and another big gainer through the air. They give him 26. Boy, X. To his route down the field, well covered, since this quarterback not having anywhere to go, and he just stops. Ball's in the air, he stops, presents a, 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 his numbers to, to Travis. Nine for nine, pass grab near the 21. By Cameron McDonald, his second catch. And to sense these, the defensive backs, especially the corners, for Louisville. It just kind of hesitant, just a little hesitant, but turns out Pokey Wilson may, may have been uh, out of bounds. He was. And then came back in, can't be the first guy to touch it. Didn't get the call, though, so it's not speeding unless you get pulled over, Roy. Oh, boy. That's an interesting development there. Tunnel screen. Malik McClain into the red zone. It'll be third down and short after a four-yard pickup. Well, don't tell me I'm going too fast if I don't get pulled over. I'm not paying attention to that last only, comment. Only, Everything only, else I'm good with. Only worry about it when I get pulled over. <laughs> How impressive is Travis? Ten for ten. Sound like a broken record, but career best start now. Yeah, there's no, you know, I don't want to say emotion because obviously there's it's boiling in him, but he just looks calm and composed and love the even keel approach by Jordan Travis. Just inside the 23rd down and three, Travis takes off. He can do a little bit of this. Sandwich between two defenders, and he will be stopped well short. On the road, hostile environment. I think you take the field goal here if you Mike Norvell. It looks as though that's exactly what he's going to do. Really not there. Design quarterback draw. And Louisville is sitting there awaiting Jordan Travis. Monty Montgomery sneaking in there. Yasir Abdullah making sure that that play had no chance for Mike Norvell's team. And this will be a 37-yard field goal attempt. His, his range is about 55, so well within his range. For Ryan Fitzgerald. Three for four on the season. And range is not a problem, but accuracy is. Wide right. Well, it looked as though the edge defender for Louisville came free. I'm not exactly sure who. But someone turns the corner and may have rushed him just a little bit and forced him. Some pretty good field position to start their next drive. As a quarterback, as an offensive player, when the D stands up and finds a way to make a play, what kind of charge does that give you coming back on the field? Uh, it sends a charge throughout the entire team, whether it's the quarterback or anybody. It could be the center, the offensive, anybody along the offensive line. Now it tells you, hey, let's go get it. If you're the quarterback, that's the message. The defense did their job. Let's go reward them. Travion Cooley. Checks in as a running back. They're going to take a shot. Pass will be caught. Tyler Hudson tiptoeing out of bounds. Give him 24. And intentionally thrown behind the receiver Hudson. Saw that there was great coverage on the outside. He throws this, forcing Hudson to come back to it. Tiptoes down inbounds. That's an excellent start to this drive for Malik Cunningham. 12th catch of the season for Hudson now. First quarter of game three. The transfer from Central Arkansas. Empty backfield for Malik Cunningham. All night to throw. Crosser nearly picked off. Boy, pressure was coming, and Jerry and Jones able to get a fingertip or two on it. Boy, this is the kind of start that Malik Cunningham had in last year's game against Florida State. Last possession. It's his right ankle. He was in the tent for a while with the trainers. He's testing it. Still a little ginger on that right side but he's Malik Cunningham's left tackle that's his blind side and they're down two starting running backs be critical to get him back in the game and Cooley set to receive his first carry of this season <laughs> little post corner it is there into Florida State territory for D Wiggins that's 20 more yards a smash route comp and Wiggins 
where you have a guy sitting down outside at about six and you run a corner behind it, the throw is what wins. The, the absolute throw by Malik Cunningham over a couple of guys, a couple of defenders for Florida State is what wins. This It's just the throw, throwing a guy open. Wiggins banged up along the far side after making the reception. Think about what Scott Satterfield told us this yeah. week. He believed that Malik missed about six throws against UCF. Big plays that were there for the taking. And I think that was a challenge, yeah, Andre, yeah. this week in practice. And he also told us about wanting to get D. Wiggins more involved. The transfer from Miami, big-bodied guy with great hands, runs great routes. He was a big recruit out of high school. They've just kind of been waiting on him to come along. And you catch one of those, and all of a sudden, it kind of lights a fire under the receiver and the quarterback. Don't forget ESPN Plus and Plus, rather ESPNPlus.com or download the app game, today. Game day there at app tomorrow. And have you done a game in Boone? I have. It's been years, but it's beautiful. That was my point. I was about to get to absolutely beautiful part of the country. They call it the Rock. I can only imagine what downtown looks like this evening, what it could look like tomorrow. Coach Corso and company going to be there. Cunningham will get to the edge. A high step. Cunningham has another first down. That is what Malik Cunningham does best on the ground, getting it done 13 yards to move the chains. When you see Isaac Martin, the H-back, kind of fullback, tight end type, first to, to congratulate Cunningham because he knew that's just an athletic play that not a lot of quarterbacks across the country can make. First touch of the season for Cooley, and it's a good one into the and red zone. Gain of four. Well, we talk a lot about the three running backs for Florida State. Well, Louisville, they're not far behind in their approach and how they do things. And that four talented guys that I mentioned earlier, but tonight it's Cooley and Jordan, and they are getting it done for this offense. On second down, Cunningham back to the air looking long. Cunningham to the edge, so slippery. And ushered out after a short pickup near the 16. How about the block by Cooley to give him the edge? You got to be an unselfish player sometimes. Not always, you know, for a running back's job, not always just to run the football or catch it out of the backfield. You got to be able to protect the quarterback. Saw him in trouble, sealed the edge, and allowed Malik Cunningham to get down and around the corner. Big, big third down here for this Louisville offense. Time winding down in our first quarter. Guards need five. Here comes pressure. There goes the screen. Cooley to the 15. Inside the 10. Cooley! In for the touchdown! How about the play call there? Touched it twice in the entire season, early in the season for Louisville. Asked to step up tonight in the absence of a couple of running backs in front of him, and he is delivering early the young sophomore. Excellent block by Luke Kandra at left guard to help him get himself into the end zone. That was third down and five. The Ville picked up 17 and a touch. Back-to-back -to -back scoring drives after Florida State grabbed the early lead. And guess who's out in front now? Here come the cards at home. Well, this kind of reminds you of the second half of last week where it started first opening drive, a real big one. Sputtered a long time, and then the second half opened up. Defense started playing. They got a stop here tonight. The offense came right along, and how about that? You use the term, and I don't really like it a whole lot, complimentary football, but the defense, offense rewarding the defense for its effort there on that missed field goal. You don't want to compliment complimentary football. No. Yeah, I'm with you. I understand. That, that term was brought up. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that story later. <laughs> I heard it a little bit too much. You're ready to roll tonight. I, I can tell. We've got early and touchdowns. And Andre Ware's getting recent. excited. Yeah. <laughs> I just like good football games. I think we may have one this evening. I think, we're, I think you're absolutely right. Sam McCall back deep to receive again for Florida State. Rock travel set will kick things away for the Cards. After an early season loss on the road at Syracuse, Louisville's look like an entirely different team. The last three or four quarters. And don't forget, outstanding Michigan State. That's going to be a good one, too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Seattle. 
Mel Tucker's team undefeated. We saw them two weeks ago in East Lansing. They were impressive. Washington undefeated. Big game for Treshawn Ward on first down. Give him eight yards. A nice run right up the gut by Ward. Look at these quarterbacks slinging it around them. They have three 20 plus yard completions between the two, Cunningham and, and Travis. Under a minute to go in the first. Ward the running back on second and two. Probing, there goes Ward. Ward into Louisville territory. Tripped up inside the 25. Kendrick Duncan finally grabbed him. Well, he took one heck of an angle because if he doesn't, Ward has gone to the house. Nice job up front. We talked about it from the top. The, the improved offensive line play of Florida State. That has really, really helped this football team. After a gain of 46, empty backfield for Jordan Travis. Knowles back on the move. Travis wants it all. Back corner of the end zone. Did he catch it? Touchdown! Yes, he did! Malik McClain. Right over top of Keytrail Clark, and the Knowles come roaring back. Wow. Buckle up. You are in for some kind of ride tonight. Two fantastic quarterbacks in the timing of this throw. I'm going to put it in a place where only my guy's going to catch it or no one and barely getting the left foot down in that corner of the end zone. Takes one foot in college football with possession. He had it. And we don't even need a replay review of that sequence. That's how strong that grab was by McClay. What a throw and catch. Jordan Travis is on fire on the road. Four completions of 20 plus, a couple of touchdown strikes. Florida State's offense looks vastly different to this time a year ago. Vastly. Well, if you're Malik Cunningham, you're telling your unit right now that, hey, it's going to be one of those nights. We have got to keep pace with their offense, defense, until they, they get it going and they start to get the feel they had in last week's game in the second half, in particular in the UCF ball game. Now we, we know they're going to play, but now we've got to just continue to, to do our thing. So this is this is a night for offensive football if you like it. Look at the numbers. Hmm. Get, away, get it done in a couple of different ways. Travis Moore, the pocket passer who can run when needed. Lee Cunningham, the dual threat. The guy that can do it through the air, and it's, it's, it's there. A touchdown pass as well as a touchdown run. This is as good as it gets. We'll take a deep breath for a moment. We're tied at 14, still in the first quarter. The stars are shining brightly with Jordan Travis and Malik Cunningham. How about 350 yards of total offense already between both sides? Don't relax. And Jordan watches that kickoff sail 10 yards over his head. Bring it out to the 25. Now the throws that Malik Cunningham was off target with a week ago in Orlando. He has been on target thus far tonight. Yeah, and they've called Scott Satterfield's called a great game here here early. He has a kind of a, a feel for what Florida State likes to do. He's caught him in zone. Had the right play called in when he wants to run the football. He's had it called in. And then when they get aggressive and want to come after Malik Cunningham, a nice screen pass to Cooley got him into the end zone. So he's had the number of this Florida State defense. And then on the flip side, Travis has had had the uh, the pulse of what Louisville wants to do defensively. Cooley just scored the touchdown back in at running back. With a right tackle, the tackle. Stop made by Malcolm Ray after a short gain of three. How much of a luxury is it for a coach like Scott Satterfield when you have your two top horses go down in the backfield and you don't miss a beat? D. Wiggins exiting the playing surface on a cart. Fireworks a plenty. Join that list. He's in some pretty good company. Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, JT Bear, Tim Tebow. Dak Prescott, hope you're feeling better, Dak. Pressure on Cunningham. Lobs that one out of bounds. Smart play. Don't want to force it. You make sure that you get enough on it to get it out of bounds and come back and 
live to play on third down. Derek McClellan applying the pressure, third and eight. Yeah, don't be surprised if they give him a run pass option here to take advantage of, of his dual threat ability. Get him out on the edge, put some pressure on this Florida State defense. Cardinals without their starting left tackle. Looks like they may bring some pressure here. Also two of their top running backs, no showing pressure. Through the A gap and pass will be caught right at the line again. That's going to move the six of first down. That's beautiful quarterback play. Brayden Smith waited until the last second. The Smith got to the marker and he knew he was going to take a shot. He's staring down the barrel of the Bethune right in his face and still delivers a strike. We saw that same play last week not executed in the fourth quarter against yeah. UCF, a throw that was low. Cooley probing and tripped up. And for a gain of two, maybe three. Tatum Bethune, the tackle. And doing it with without a couple of starters. Trevor Reed, as Clark told us, still out of this game. D. Higgins, D. Wiggins. We saw on a cart going to the locker room, still moving the football. Minute into our second quarter, Cunningham with time zips it. Another pass caught into FSU territory. Braden Smith, 15 more yards. Well, you know what I like? I like a pretty ball, a nice thrown ball. Watch this come out of his hand, just ripping throws tonight. Playing with a lot of confidence, tight spirals. Man, that's pretty. Cunningham again, back to the air. Tyler Hudson. Crossing the 45, making Amari Huggins-Bruce with a grab and the stop by Dents. You told me a story earlier listening to Lamar Jackson throw a football indoors. It's impressive. And right? how the ball whistled past you. I've seen guys do it when they're outside and the wind is blowing and you're, you're throwing into the wind and the ball whistles. And Cunningham may In, have done that there, right? He might have. Indoors, to have it happen, that's impressive. Inside give. And that was on his pro day, Lamar's pro day. First down for Cooley. I'm still kind of indebted to his mom. Wishing, wishing her all the best. It's the first guy to get the interview with, uh, with Lamar Jackson on, on that uh, that day. Was and Andre he, where? He put on a an absolute show. Out of the pistol, Jordan. With a pass and a big time crease. And another first down. Stopped at the 27 after a gain of 11. The offensive line doing its thing. Missed tackle by D.J. Lundy, and that allowed Jordan to pick up the first down. Quarterback keeper off the draw. Cunningham, who's shucking and jiving inside the 15. Another first down. He is feeling it tonight, man. He is feeling it tonight. Nice block by Marshawn Ford, the tight end. Kind of frees things up for Malik Cunningham, but he is making guys look foolish. What does that high step tell you right there near the end of that run? You well, mentioned his it, confidence. It, it's just enough to freeze a defender. Oh, I wish I could do it. <laughs> Even in my heyday, I couldn't move like that. I had some wheels now, Phil Pot. No, I know. You told me you ran the wing tee in high school. Stopped at the 11. will be Jordan. Might have got a face mask on the end of this. Verse with the tackle, and let's see. And so it may be tacked on, maybe about half the distance tacked onto this thing. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number 27. Half the distance to the goal and an automatic first down. Well, he's, he's running. Malik Cunningham. That's his job tonight. Looked right from the, from the onset. Play clock winding down. down. Looks like things were being rushed. Results in a turnover. Knowles get it back. College football primetime presented by Ram Trucks. 10.30 remaining in our first half. Here in Louisville, Kentucky, the Commonwealth. Andre Ware, Paul Carcaterra, Roy Philpott. Entertaining start for both sides and an incredible beginning for Jordan Travis. Who has now matched the best start for a seminal quarterback well, since both, Jameis Winston in 2013? Both offenses, less than 20 minutes in, each team already has 200 plus yards, and so you want you like offensive football. Hang on. Benson, the running back, now flanking Travis to his right. Call straight ahead and a pickup of six yards. 
Seminoles are deep in the backfield. Trey Benson, who just got the rocks from Mississippi, blew his knee out when he was at Oregon. Wanted to be closer to home, so when he transferred, his next stop had to be near family. Mother Christina Wright, she's a nurse back home. 17-year-old brother Eric has lupus. Those are his why, he told me, and he runs the ball. He hears their voices in his head. It's all the motivation he needs. Travis on the run, pass deflected out of bounds and incomplete. It'll bring up third down. Josh Minkins was able to swat it away looking for Pokey Wilson was Travis that time. Yeah, unfortunate turnover for Louisville. Defense trying to now help out the offense. He turns it over. Every possession in a game like this matters. First incompletion for Jordan Travis. And he has been rocking and rolling. Here early. Delivered on his first third down in the opening drive of their, this ball game for Florida State. He's going to have to do it now from about nine yards as opposed to four. Number 79, offense. Five yard penalty, third down. Jazz turn time. Transfer from South Carolina. Came in the summer trying to solidify things at that right tackle spot. He is a big young man at 6'7", 335. Crowd starting to become a factor. Pressure. Incomplete. Donald was open for a minute, did it ricochet? They're going to say it did. That's a turnover. The Bill gets it back in plus territory. And what happened there? I don't think McDonald thought the ball was coming to him. And it was instant pressure on Jordan Travis that forced the ball out of his hand. It's pressure around the, to his left. The receiver's not looking for it. And then all of a sudden, it winds up in the hands of a, floor, of a Louisville player. Rance Cotter. Reception off the deflection. So Travis was picked off. It's both teams trade turnovers, Andre, in these last two possessions. You're coaching against me right now. You're taking a shot. You're absolutely right. I'm taking a shot. Sudden change. We're beyond midfield. I'm going to reward it. Go get it right now. I'm going to stare down a safety and I'm going outside in this look, this cover two look. Malik Cunningham back on the field, starting this possession plus territory. The deep dig. And no gain on the play. You know, we've been talking about moms tonight. Malik Cunningham's mom, Stacey Skeins, never misses any of his games. She's his rock, has taught him so much, including patience, being poised, how to attack life with a purpose, Malik told me. It makes sense. She's a second grade teacher in Montgomery, Alabama for the last 18 years. She's a difference maker in so many young people's lives, gentlemen, including her star quarterback, Malik. Yeah, they maintain, Clark, a great relationship. You talked to her earlier tonight, and it was just great to see her smile, the infectious personality, and that really carries over to Malik himself, doesn't it? He's unbelievable. Yeah, I've spent time with him the last couple years now, and every time I see him, he greets me with a huge smile. We talk about family. We talk about life. He gets it. He's centered. You know, so much about his athletic ability, obviously, is on display every time he hits the turf. But he's a person that everyone wants to root for when you get to know him, teammates included. And... Athletic ability, Andre, he just moves at a different level. He's floating out here tonight. Yeah, and I, I like the even keel in which he plays with. He doesn't get too high when he makes a move or throws a touchdown pass or runs for one, for that matter. He just comes to the sideline, even keel, and his teammates kind of feed off that. Where you, you're, in, you're in a game, involved in a game for 60 minutes. You've got to be that way, and that's exactly how he is. Jared Verse being helped to his feet. Near the 47 for Florida State, the transfer. Back to that last play and see what happened to five in white. No friendly fire. One of his teammates, his own, own teammates kind of going into the lower leg of a verse. Mr. Loach. You saw you guys, the left leg kind of awkwardly move. Yeah, you guys told me, you and Clark told me how good he was and how big of a transfer he was. And, uh, I got to know a little bit more about him this week. Film study and just kind of getting well, well, don't want to go there, but 
you know, he was, he, he's a heck of an athlete that's put on some weight and really, really helped this Florida State defense. Cunningham back on the field, second and 11 after the loss of one by Jordan. Fake it his direction, set up the screen. And Florida State, Park sniffed that one out beautifully. Huggins Bruce, the reception, that'll bring up third down. Patrick Payton reading things out, making a heck of a play way out on the outside of the defense. I'm going to force a third and long, and that's usually when you see some pressure. Number nine to go in our first half. Tied at 14. ACC opener for Florida State. Cunningham wants it all. Huggins Bruce. Losing it out of bounds and incomplete. Uh, I put that one on Huggins Bruce. You've got to give your quarterback about four yards on the sideline. It's a great throw, but to fade you away. So he is basically going or uh, throwing this where Huggins Bruce is thinking he's got more room. And had he given him the four yards, I mean it's gonna he's gonna drop it right in the bucket. Did you like the coverage there by Renardo Green? Absolutely. Kind of forces him. Uh, outside of that four yard, four yards that you look for to drop that pass in. The Florida State defense stands up after the interception toss on the deflection by Jordan Travis. Mark Fassett will put things away. To Micah Pittman. Part of the snap. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. This is another one I would decline. Because I think sometimes this is intentional to give the punter, Vassett, some extra room to land it down inside the, the, uh, the five-yard line. Vassett, a one-time commitment to Michigan State, originally out of Melbourne, Australia. Graduated high school way back in 2014. Done a great job. for the cards. Pittman gets away from this punt. It carries out of bounds inside the 10. That's why you decline it right there. Punt of 43. FSU gets it back after this. This week, college football is coming together to recognize the important role of teachers and their impressive effort to support the development of each of their students, often both inside and outside the classroom. On behalf of the College Football Playoff Foundation and ESPN, we've donated $1,000 donor's choice gift card to Stacy Skeynes, Garrett Elementary, to use towards resources and supplies. Paul Carcaterra surprised Stacy with the news earlier today. is going to give Garrett Elementary School $1,000 for school supplies. What's your reaction to that? I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the give back for children. I am so excited. Awesome. Stacy, of course, mother of Malik Cunningham. Second down and 10. Toa Feely, the running back. Play action for Jordan Travis. He's going to be flush, and the jump pass sails out of bounds. Was he outside the tackle box there? On a bank-bank bank play in the end zone. And the official's giving the signal that he indeed was outside, was outside the, the tackle, tackle box. So that makes the throwaway legal. There was and no a, receiver in the area, by the way. a heads-up play. He started this game 11 of 11, and his last three attempts have gone incompletion, interception, and then now incompletion. Knowles trying to call a timeout there. Perry applying the pressure. Quickly, it's third down and nine for Mike Norvell's team. I think they're going to bring a little pressure here. Feels that way for Brian Brown. Travis, back foot toss. Three and out for the Knowles. Now, all of a sudden, Andre, the defense is starting to make plays in this second quarter. Yeah, Brownlee was in position. If that ball's thrown more inbounds, it looked like Jarvis Brownlee may have had a better track on it than the, 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 than the intended receiver. It's Toa Feely down that left sideline. Brownlee, of course, the transfer from Florida State, and he said this week, this game's been circled on my calendar since the early part of the summer. Well, the, the defense rewarding the offense here with a stop. Let's see if Malik Cunningham can 
Found a way into the end zone here before the half. First punt for the Knowles. Oh, boy. And it's shanked. Mastromano watches that one exit the playing surface near the 30. And that, that's almost like a turnover. And Alice would love to have that one back. Let's see where they mark it. Punt of 24 yards. And a penalty marker also comes in. Looks like it may be a hold against Louisville. He's going to back him up. So it lessens the pain a little bit. Stuart Mullins with the call. During the kick, holding, return team, number 14. 10-yard penalty from the end of the kick, first down. Timeout on the field. We will step aside. The Bill gets it back up next. Brought in Insure Max. Next Friday night up at the Dome in Syracuse, Virginia. First year head coach Tony Elliott in town. We look forward to that. Tonight here in Derby City in a tie game. Florida State and Louisville. Second straight possession. The cards start off Florida State territory. Cunningham fires a strike and wrestled out near the 34 yard line. Bernardo Green working against Marshawn Ford, the tight end. Yeah, I was wondering when Ford would get himself inserted into this game. I think he's one of the more underrated tight ends, certainly in the country. After a gain of eight, he's a former walk-on. And you told us last week, you feel like he's got a chance at the next level. I really do. He's just a junior, so he might be back here next year. Cooley, first down cards inside the 25. Gain of 11. Yeah, excellent block right up the middle by Brian Hudson, the center. Kind of clears things out, works to the next level. And then it's all up to Cooley at that point. Cooley's just a sophomore. He's shown a nice explosive burst tonight. Ooh. Cunningham has as well inside the 20. Yeah, not, not great news for Florida State. Jared Verse, the prized transfer from Albany. He's got a brace on his left knee. He's hobbling around. He's a guy that has so much upside. He was under-recruited, 6'2", 205-pound tight end with no offers. and. Between COVID and going back to Albany, gained 50 pounds, 5,000 calories a day. He was playing so well for the Knowles. And that was some good weight as well, Clark. There goes Cunningham. It's another first down. First down and goal for the Cards. Cunningham shoved out at the six. He had 22 yards before this drive started on the ground. It was averaging about 3.7 yards a carry, somewhere in there. But then he, all of a sudden, it doesn't take much to get Malik Cunningham going. And when he does, when you're playing defense, forces you to play 11 on 11. And this is the way that Cunningham has performed against Florida State in the last two ball games against the Knowles. He has been unstoppable. First and goal, Cooley. Hand off to the edge. Cooley tripped up, ball came out. They're going to roll him down just before the goal line. It'll be second and goal from inside the one. Uh, he's been down here before. Ended up on the ground. Got to make sure that you are securing the football. Put it in the outside arm. You're carrying that ball to the defensive side of the formation. Cooley straight ahead. Crosses the plane into the end zone for the touchdown. That didn't take long, partner. His second score of the night, this time on the ground, the first one on the screen pass. Well, when you have a guy at quarterback like Malik Cunningham, easy to defend those pocket passes. But when a guy can make plays with his legs, it gives defensive coordinators fits. And then you got a youngster with his second touchdown of the night. One receiving and then one on the ground. 43 yards in just six plays. A little over two minutes off the clock. James Turner's been perfect on his PATs this season, and that will continue. 21 14 our score. Don't forget, next week we'll have two Monday Night Football matchups. Derrick Henry and the Titans take on Josh Allen and the Bills. 7 15 right here on ESPN. ESPN 2 and ESPN Deportes. 
Over on ABC, Vikings and Eagles. Justin Jefferson, Jalen Hurts. Let's get it on 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, ABC, ESPN Plus, ESPN Deportes. How good is one Joshua Allen very, for the Buffalo Bills very. out of Wyoming? And Craig <laughs> Bull says hello, by the way. Very, very good. 83%, almost, as we round that up to 84. And then the four touchdowns he accounted for, he has the full support of all of Buffalo. Did and how about Jalen Hurts? Oh, we love Jalen, heck too. of a start himself. He's gotten better in the passing game. There's no doubt. There is no doubt. I was going to say that Josh Allen's stiff arm is one of the early stories of the season it's, for me. It's amazing how good you get as a quarterback when you put some skill position players around you. Tighten up the offensive line Hurts? a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that matchup. You know, maybe uh, at the end of the season when we're talking Super Bowl. Oh, wow. Eagles Bills. Okay. You could easily see it. I don't think many people are talking about the Eagles in that capacity, but Andre Ware is, and I like it. Great crowd. Good atmosphere. Florida State gets it back. Plenty of time to work with. And a hot quarterback as well, and Jordan Travis. Started this game 11 of 11. His last four passes, 0 for 4. And an interception. Yeah, but the pick was on a deflection, right? I mean, that's a little different. Yeah. But, you know, tell that to the stat sheet. Did that I mean, kind we, of play make you mad? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm just checking. Mad. Or you hit a guy right in the chest and it pings off his chest into the air and somebody intercepts it. Intercepts it. That should be like an error in baseball. Apply that in football. It doesn't <laughs> count against you. Uh, unfortunately, they don't, they don't go away. They stick. An unearned interception, if you will. Somebody somewhere, SID's department, they're keeping track of that. I know you probably kept track of it back in the day. NFL with the Cougs. Maybe. Big drive for the Knowles on the road. I'd never admit to that. <laughs> <laughs> Ward the running back. Travis wants to throw it. Nice. Gain of eight, maybe nine, and now give him almost ten, which should be enough for a first down. He can drive it himself. To a Philly. Tight window, bunch of red jerseys around, and then he's just going to sit back and, and fire this one in. That is a tight window, my man. We talked with Florida State's coaching staff this week about the Jordan Travis factor, his leadership. Tunnel screen going to be lassoed down by Ben Perry working against Toa Philly again. He's going to lose a couple, but we asked Alex Atkins, the offensive coordinator, is there a moment where Travis really stood out with his leadership? And he's like, yeah, it's last year when we bring in McKenzie Milton and he never flinched and he knows the playbook and he knows where everybody's supposed to be and he's directing traffic well, the indoor practice facility and doing all the things. And two consecutive years at the end of the season, he's the quarterback. So he's, this has been building for a couple of years now for Jordan Travis. Officially a loss of three, clean pocket, the pump fake all night. Backside pressure, Travis collapses, ball's picked off. Just as we were singing his praises, Yasir Abdullah comes out of there with it. And he's down. Travis is down, and he's grabbing around his lower lower leg, lower leg area. Down on the turf. Oh, my goodness. Official timeout, get into play. The runner was Just not down. Down. Losing possession. take the sack the in this here. instance. Nobody there. You're running out of time or throw it away. And you just hate to see this happen to any player. And if you watch that play, he may have been down before the ball came out. That could potentially negate the interception. We'll ask our rules expert in the booth with us tonight. Matt Austin on what he sees and Matt what do you think yeah I definitely think the the quarterback's knee was down as a matter of fact I think the referee started to run up to get the spot but he threw the ball but he let the play go which he should have but I definitely think he was down before this ball came out the bigger story may be the left knee of Jordan Travis not in terms of whether or not he was down but a potential injury or was it the right I think it's the right knee he's point he started pointing to it right away Yes. Praying that he gets up and that he's okay and able to return to this game. 
And he is putting a little bit of pressure on it, leaving the field. Mm. I oh, hate to see this happen to any player. But I think the interceptions, you're right, it's going to be overturned. The knee was definitely down before the ball came out. Yaya Diaby came in with the sack. Replay Booth After is further having review, a look. The quarterback's knee was down with the ball at the 24 yard line prior to losing possession of the ball. Third down, Florida State at the 24 yard line. The backup quarterback, Andre, is Tate Rodemaker. And on the season, two of six, 33% for just 15 yards and an interception. And you're coming in on third down in Louisville. Sophomore out of Valdosta, Georgia. Dre gave you the numbers. Hasn't played a ton. You have to think a conservative play call here. And yeah, you're thinking draw play. Some kind of underneath handoff to just kind of get everybody settled down. Let the defense punt and play defense. Just kind of get everybody on the same page with a new quarterback. Third and 22. Three-man front for the Bill. Rodemaker wants to throw it. Heaves one deep, and the pass corralled out of bounds and incomplete, and that was close to Very first down close. yardage. Extremely close. Had he been come down inbounds, I think he would have had the first down. Johnny Wilson. It's a heck of a throw when you come off the bench, and obviously they've got a tremendous amount of confidence in Rodemaker, but to allow him to throw on fourth, third down and 20-plus. Trey, we saw this last week at UCF. A string of stops by this Louisville defense. All of a sudden, the Ville now four straight stops on third down, working against the Knowles offense this evening. Well, this is both both coaches, both sets of coaches, told us they had to be physical. A lot of players have left this first half with injuries. This is a tough football game. Braden Smith makes one man miss. No, he doesn't. Karam's down to the 27 as we check in with Matt Berry. Guys, happy college football Friday. Coming up on the Sling TV Halftime Report, we'll discuss the quarterbacks coming up in your game. Plus, speaking of quarterbacks, AM has made their decision heading into the Miami game. And gentlemen, due to some struggles with airlines, not picks, we had to make an adjustment to virtual locks tonight. Jesse Palmer, Dan Mullen, join me coming up on the Sling TV Halftime Report. I'm interested, guys. I'm interested. You got me sitting on the edge of my seat wondering what's going on. Dan what's Mullen going on in the studio. Maybe Dan time. Mullen siding in studio tonight. Coach is in there talking things over with the guys. Should be entertaining. Scott Satterfield's got to be pleased with his team start. Trailed early, came back. Now a touchdown lead and possession here, Andre. We got a little false start. False start. On Isaac Martin. The H back. Offense. Five yard penalty. First down. Had a few of those uh, last week. At UCF, if I'm remembering correctly. That indeed would be accurate. Under four to go. Scott Satterfield not in his nature to be conservative. He went for it on fourth down in a couple of unusual circumstances a week ago. I think with Florida State getting the football out, you attack. And it's another false start. You attack this defense, but now you're getting... False start. Number 74. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. And Dondas Boone is the guy that jumped there, but you're getting ever so close to where you have got to take an, a conservative approach offensively. That's 10 yards of penalties on Louisville for just false starts, pre-snap penalties, which killed them in the first half of last week's game. They were able to overcome it in the second half, but it doesn't allow you to be as aggressive as you were when you were at about the 27-yard line. Injuries, a big story so far. The Cards without their top two running backs and their left tackle. Florida State now without Jared Verse. And perhaps Jordan Travis. Check on his status. There's a handoff. They'll get that penalty yardage back. That helps. Jordan gains 10. Well, he has run well tonight, hadn't he? You mentioned it subbing in for Taiwan Evans and Jalen Mitchell. Young, young man has played well. 
Jordan straight ahead, third down and short. And just like that, starting to wear on his defensive front of Florida State. Cooley checks in at running back. Jordan now over 70 yards on the ground at six and a half per touch. Cunningham will keep it to the edge. First down Louisville. He scampers out crossing the 40, a six yard game. That's what I mean by having to defend 11 on 11. Usually the quarterback, you. You can defend everybody else and not have to worry about the quarterback making plays like this. But when you have a dual threat like Malik Cunningham, it, trust me, everybody's looking for one. They can throw it the way he throws it and obviously run it like he did there. On first and 20, three straight runs picks up a first down. What does that tell you? It tells me they're wearing down this Florida State defense. And another false start. Sloppy possession for the cards. Still picking up a first. Start. Start. Number 61, offense. Five yard penalty. First down. Well, you got to get in the huddle, take a deep breath. This is a quarterback. Hey, big guys up front, settle down. Listen for the snap count. We're okay. We just overcame first and 20. So let's settle in, listen for the snap count, and, and then let's do our jobs. Dre, we should point out as well, Florida State without the services of Fabian Lovett this evening, starting defensive tackle. So that could be an issue with the FSU run defense at 6'4", 320. And the transfer from Mississippi State, Cunningham, back foot throw. Up into short of midfield is Hudson. Well, they are just moving it at will right now. Cunningham being magical on the ground and slinging this thing around. Second and five. Cards with three timeouts remaining under two to go in the first half. Already with a touchdown advantage here at home, their home opener in 2022. Jordan runs into a pile of humanity and is driven backwards. They need to take a time out here. They're saying the they ball pop out late. Man. Let's see now a brief conversation with this veteran officiating crew. Boone came right out of the, the field as a fumble. They come by the defense. First down. And indeed, the Knowles have it. It was in a pile of defenders. Bethune. Let's check and see if Jordan was down. Can't tell. Trey, they're just ripping at the oh, football. Yeah. DJ Lundy no scooped it out of there. It's going to be Florida State football. Blast we'll Matt Austin near the boot with us. Is there the enough there to change the call on the field based off what you've seen? Well, replay cannot create forward progress. It did look to me like the, the runner was being driven backwards before the ball came out. I would have liked to have seen the on-field officials shut it down for progress, but replay can't do a thing with it. Cards now with two lost fumbles in their last four drives, including one deep in the red zone by Cunningham. Yeah, I think this is going to stand, and Rodemaker's going to have some ex excellent field position to try to tie this thing up right before the half. Sloppy, sloppy possession there for Louisville. All the false start penalties. Three. I mean, amazing. And then a fumble on the on the end of it to kind of cap things off. And oh, that elbow hit and then the ball comes out. It's got to be indisputable video evidence to overturn the call on the field. That's why that sequence is so important. I don't know that we can tell from this angle. The other, the last one was maybe the better angle to determine. By the way, isn't it great having Matt Austin here uh, with us? Can you just travel with us? I mean, it's just weekly. a warm and fuzzy feeling here in the booth Absolutely. tonight. Absolutely. Don't know if a knee is down. I think you're guessing if you're looking there. Not sure about the elbow be hitting the turf. It's not down yet. Then it's down, and then we see the ball come out. Matt, ah, let's ask him Matt again. What do you think? 
Well, yeah, I misspoke a little bit. Since they did not rule forward progress, then if the ball, did, if the knee was down before the ball came out, even though he was going backwards, then he would be down. So it, it's in a pile, though. It, it's very close. I haven't seen a view to change it. The ruling on the field was a fumble. I, I just don't see anything to overturn. It is taking an extended period of time. Yeah, that last one looked like the elbow mat may have actually contacted the ground, maybe even did the right side of his rear end. Well, it, over two minutes already with this review. Showcase evening tonight for the ACC and two teams trying to figure things out with coaches that would love to secure an early season conference win, which are very difficult to come by at home on the road. A league that's got five top 25 programs in the early part of this 2022 season. Florida State's been resilient, though. Because Louisville, on a couple of occasions, could have really taken it to them, and, and turnovers have really helped this Florida State team out. Indeed, if this one stands. Replay official, Steve McBride. Partner, this has been back-to-back uh, -back weeks with lengthy, difficult replay reviews. Trying to figure out exactly what needs to happen. And this is a critical call. They want to make sure they get it right. Really looking at this one long. And I don't mind when you... You're trying to just get it right. We may get two Jack Harlow songs in here before this <laughs> replay is finished. Now well over three minutes. Jack Harlow, of course, hey, well, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this DJ here in the stadium. <laughs> Has to be a way to come to a determination. I do think you can do this a little bit faster. Let's you lose a little bit of momentum. It's Florida State's going to be Florida State's football, I think. Knowles' offense is on the field. Stuart Mullen still trying to figure out exactly what this ruling needs to be. Trying to get the clock right, all of it now. After further review, ruling on the field stands. Please reset the game clock to 137. Please look, one minute, 37 seconds on the game clock, please, and start it on my signal. Andre, a backup quarterback, three timeouts. Good field position to work with here for the Knowles. They had no hesitation whatsoever in allowing him to throw the football on third and 22, so I'd imagine they're going to try to attack this Louisville defense. Tate Rodemaker on first down. Ward the handoff, Treshawn Ward picks up a first down and a lot more. All the way inside the 20 yard line and shoved out there. And able to get himself out of bounds to stop the clock. Missed tackle by Morty Montgomery and that allows Ward to, to get up the field and then the smart thing to get himself out of bounds to save a timeout. Now the clock not as big of a factor, under 90 seconds to go from the 20. And Ward putting up explosive numbers this evening. He'll set up the screen. Nowhere to run. He's going to lose five, maybe six. Yasir Abdullah brought down Ward in a hurry. I'll take the time out if I'm Mike Norvell, but just with a young quarterback coming in to make sure everything is, or everyone is on the same page. Parts now with five TFL, second and long. If I'm Louisville, I would bring some pressure. I want a line to just sit back there. This is like seven on seven if you get the, the protection. Bring some pressure, make him get rid of the football. Here it comes. Benson, the running back, Rodemaker slings it out of bounds. Mm -hmm. Heavy pressure. You don't allow a, a backup quarterback into the game to just kind of sit back. There's going to be a rough in the passing. Galati actually just throwing it up inside the pocket, not outside of it, outside the tackle box. And 
Well, you're running the risk of losing field goal range here. Well, partner, you called it. The pressure came, and number nine got there in a big time hurry, and that changes how this possession feels all of a sudden for Mike Norvell. Yeah, you can't Florida just allow. Has elected to take their first charge timeout of the half in order to avoid a 10 second runoff. Timeout, 30 seconds. Now, don't forget the Sunday NFL Town Countdown crew has you covered for week two, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. And the Monday Night Countdown crew gets you set for two, count of two Monday Night Football matchups, six Eastern, three Pacific. Both are on ESPN, also on the app. Well, let's check in with Paul Carcaterra on the situation at quarterback, Paul. Yeah, no update on Jordan Travis right now. I'll let you know if I hear anything. It's all Tate Rodemaker's show right now. He started one game his true freshman season in 2020. It was a win over Jacksonville State. He's got a big arm. Doesn't have the mobility of Jordan Travis. But the key thing here, gentlemen, they're down to two scholarship quarterbacks right now. Rodemaker and true freshman A.J. Duffy if Jordan Travis does not return. Fourth ever true freshman to start a game at quarterback for Florida State. Third down and a long ways to go. Yeah. Ryan Fitzgerald, they feel good about his field goal distance all the way back to 55 yards, but this crowd, big time factor. And he's missed one already. That was a, That's correct. pretty much a chip shot in the first quarter. And another stoppage. Florida State offense back near its own sideline. What's Mike Norvell telling his backup signal caller here and Tate Rodemaker, you think? Take care of the football. The ball is in the right take spot. care of it. Don't take a sack in this, uh, this particular part of the game on this part of the field. If, you, uh, if it's not there, get rid of the football. We'll live with a field goal attempt. But I would fully expect maybe a draw play, maybe a, a screen pass just to get it out of his hands. And, and I got to feel like Louisville's going to bring pressure again. If you dial up the screen pass and catch him in it, who knows, this thing could hit big. Knowles will receive the second half kickoff. A field goal here would do FSU some good. Philip Philly, the running back, backside pressure. Rodemaker slants and it's picked off. Intercepted by the cards. Stopped short of the 45, Yasir Abdullah. A turnover, and Louisville in business at home once again. Yeah. And maybe one of two ways, deep shot down the field or a quarterback run, but Abdullah just dropping into coverage, reading the quarterback's eyes, and Rodemaker just stays in one place with it. Under tremendously underthrown and it made it easy for Abdullah. Yasir Abdullah had the interception originally on the play that Jordan Travis was injured on. It was overturned on replay. Got one now. And he's got one for sure with that sequence. Two turnovers for each team so far. Excellent field position but a full complement of timeouts and a four year starter working things for you. Empty backfield on first down. Cunningham, Smith, shoved out near midfield. That's the drive starter right there. Now it, only five seconds off the clock. You still have the timeout, so Cunningham can work anywhere on the field that he wants. Throw one over the middle, get a quick timeout. You're in no rush. Second and two. Cunningham steps up, pocket collapses, down he goes. Only thing you can't do is take a sack in the two-minute drill. Derek McClellan with the sack and a loss of five. A quick timeout, about six seconds off the Time clock. Out. It's the number one rule, Their partner, in the two-minute drill. You can't seconds. take a sack in the two-minute drill. Right off the edge, he gets right around Brown, the right tackle, laid out of his stance. And 
right into the lap of Malik Cunningham. 22 seconds to go. The timeout by the Cards. They have two remaining. Well, what a week three we have for you. Our ACC football lineup headed your way starting early tomorrow morning. Wofford, Virginia Tech, Lane Stadium, the place to be. Note the kickoff time at 11 a.m. Eastern. ODU and Virginia Liberty Wake, North Carolina A&T and Duke on ACC Network Extra. And then primetime, Louisiana Tech and fifth-ranked Clemson, 8 o'clock, live from Death Valley. Tomorrow over on ACC Network. ACC opener this evening for Florida State. Louisville at 0-1 after the loss at Syracuse in week one. And let's see on third and seven. And a nice little quarterback draw. Spread them out and let three go to work. Quick timeout on the tail end of it. Cunningham. Off the back foot and incomplete. Right at the line to gain. And the pass hit the turf looking for Braden Smith once more. Well, you almost take the run just to run the clock out and avoid having to punt it away here. So an interesting halftime coming up, especially on the Florida State side with the injury to Jordan Travis, trailing by a touchdown to the Knowles, get it first to start our third quarter. And injuries to Jordan Travis. You got Trevor Reed out, D. Wiggins. Lots of injuries in the first half of this one. Pittman walloped short of the 10 and brought down quickly. You know, ACC Network's The Huddle will be on site in Tallahassee coming up next week in advance of the Seminoles' primetime matchup with Boston College. Coverage will begin Friday with in play plus ACC PM broadcasting live outside Doe Campbell. Then Saturday with The Huddle beginning at 11 a.m., taking you deep into the nights. Jordan Cornett, E.J. Manuel, big Eric McLean, Coach Rick working hard, and it should be a great time down in the Sunshine State. Five seconds to go. Knowles probably content to get to the locker room and try to regroup yes. with a new quarterback. Quick kneel down right here and get, get in, try to get settled in and with a young quarterback. Get him ready mentally for the second half of this one. Good start for the home team. Malik Cunningham already a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown in the same game. 19th time that's occurred. 35 total points, four turnovers, and 500 crazy yards of offense to highlight our first two quarters. Talking about the ACC, we had Commissioner Phillips stop by the booth before the game. Always nice to visit with him. Always in a good mood and uplifting oh, yeah. spirits. He is all about the ACC. Halftime for Scott Satterfield's team out in front of Florida State, 21 to 14. Halftime report coming up right now. Matt Barry, Jesse Palmer, and Coach Dan Mullen. Gentlemen, good evening. So, in the house tonight for a critical second half upcoming in your college football Friday. Sam McCall back deep to receive this punt for the Knowles as it sails into the end zone. We check in with Paul. Well, where I just caught up with Mike Norvell and asked him about Jordan Travis. He's definitely done for this evening. He didn't specify the extent of the injury, but it's all Tate Rodemaker right now. And I asked him about Tate's strengths. He said he could absolutely sling the football, but he needs to manage the game and not try to do too much. Defensively, containing Malik Cunningham has been the big issue for Florida State. Worst news on the injury front, Jared Verse, one of the best players defensively for the Seminoles. He's in street clothes, too. Arguably one of the top defenders for the Knowles this year. Had the block kick against LSU 12 nights ago. Trayshawn Ward opens up this third quarter at running back for FSU. Rodemaker hands it off, and Ward will spin his way for a couple. If you're Louisville defensively, right? I mean, you're coming after Florida State's new quarterback and Rodemaker anytime you can, right? Yeah, and to try to neutralize it, you know, we were talking at the coming out of the half is you, you do it with the running game. The offensive line in the running game, make sure that you protect Tate Rodemaker. And sometimes you got to protect him from himself. When you got a big arm, you can sling it as Clark described. 
Yeah, you, you take it out of his hands. Don't allow him to make the mistakes he made at the end of the first half. Three games he played in last year, Rodemaker. One start in 2020. How about that missile delivered and slung down at midfield? Johnny Wilson with a grab and a first down. Felt like the approach would be the running game, and then if you're going to throw it, quick game. Three steps, a little play action, and then let it rip where it's an easy throw. Slants, outs, curls, things of that sort where the ball is out of his hands in a hurry. It's a gain of 22, the fourth grab of the night by Wilson now for 68 yards. Let's see what that does for Rodemaker's confidence. Ward straight ahead, plunging ahead for a gain of four. Tackle by Abdullah, who had a first half pick. The holes are there. They just stayed inside a little bit too long. It was outside the tackle box where they collapsed everything down inside. Yeah, go a little tempo with Rodemaker as well. Right to the line of scrimmage. Travis on the sidelines. You this you takes that sight. Yeah, this takes the thinking out of it for Rodemaker. Just go play. Call a play and let him run it. Rather than approach the line of scrimmage, have to read the defense, all that stuff. Just go run plays. Louisville territory now on second and six. Benson straight ahead. Stop short of the line again. It'll be third and one. The yes, tackle by sir. Montgomery. We talked about this much improved offensive line for Florida State. Well, it came via the transfer portal. Dylan Gibbons, Notre Dame. Dimitri Emanuel, Charlotte. Turning time from South Carolina. Knowles 0 for the last five on third down after a two for two start in that department. Benson the running back, he'll get the carry and the first down. Needed one, he'll gain two. Now they are moving bodies and that's what you do. And just hey, at, at halftime, tell the big guys, look, we're gonna put the ball game into your hands. And we've got three capable running backs. We just need you to open holes for them with Benson and Ward and Toa Feely. Two and a half minutes into our second half. Benson starting to get lathered up. Now building confidence in this new system. You mentioned the knee injury coming in from Oregon. Rodemaker fakes it. Slant is there. Another first down. Pokey Wilson with the catch and stop near the 25. Two slants off play action, and it's just really not a read. It's just can you get inside position? If it's yes, let it rip. If not, let's throw it away and live the next step, lift to the next down. Florida State trying to improve to 3 0 for the first time since 2015. Boy, he has got one on one coverage at the top. And he runs a fade, and there's no safety help over the top. Dre, you're trying to call the play from up here. I see you. Does appear available. Deep handoff and a TFL for the Louisville defense. Ward was tackled deep in the backfield for a loss of four by Riger. But I'm Louisville and they're running this, this kind of RPO. I forced Rodemaker to keep it. I'm going to collapse everybody down inside on the running back and make him beat me with his legs. Or if he pulls it, Show me that you can beat, beat, beat us with your arm. So far, so good here to start this drive for Rodemaker. It's looked like a different quarterback compared to what we saw at the end of the first half. Parts now with seven TFLs to a Philly tackle, Momo Sonogo. And this is what you didn't want to have happen, is to get young Tate Rodemaker in long yardage situations here third down and, and long. Collapsing everybody. Everybody is going to Tua Feely and leaving Rodemaker out alone. Andre, you mentioned protecting the football in a similar situation like this. At the end of the last half. Let's see what happens here. Remember the third and 22 when they tried to throw for it. And it was close to being a completion to Wilson. Could be a free play. Rodemaker slings it low to Johnny Wilson. They'll rule it a catch, and let's see if that was offsides. Not sure. Robert Scott started a little early. Abdullah with the pressure. Both guys moved on that the left tackle and the right defensive end. I'm going to call the defensive end for offsides. 
Offside. Defense, number 22. Five-yard penalty. Third down. That's why Abdullah was able to get the pressure so fast. Yeah, he had a pretty good jump. Boy, and Scott was trying to drift out there to make sure he didn't touch Rodemaker. Third down and a more manageable nine yards. This is when I would get force him to get the ball out. Now, if I'm Rodemaker, I'm looking for where's where's Wilson? Where's the big target in this situation? Pressure, Rodemaker will buy some time, gets to the edge. There goes Rodemaker. And he's got enough for a first down, not known for his mobility, but it pays dividends there. Maybe you don't want to force him to keep the football. He's got enough mobility or just enough to get himself out of harm's way. This game, you don't have to run 4-3 to be mobile. And Rodemaker with a nice drive so far here to start the second half. The redshirt sophomore may be growing up a little bit. It gives you a chance to put points on the board. Take care of the football. So on third and 14, the penalty and the quarterback run. Boy, no respect for Rodemaker. No safety help. Everybody's in the box. Asking him to throw on the edges in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And Michael Lavelle raced Wait, out on the field. It's a nine-man timeout. Yeah, it's a nine-man front. Correction party snap. Timeout, Florida State. Their first of the half. We'll step aside, 9.05 to go in the third quarter. Knowles trying to tie it up on the road. How about what we've seen from Tate Rodemaker so far? A couple of quick slants. Found his way into a rhythm here to start our second half. Yeah, they're giving him some throws that he really doesn't have to think about. Slant, simple slant routes that he throws every day in practice. Then things break down. He's got enough mobility to pick up. Inside the red zone, take care of the football, young man. On in relief of the injured Jordan Travis. If you're just tuning in, he went out towards the end of the first half and will not return tonight. Toa Philly tries to get to the edge, and he does. A Florida State touchdown on the opening drive of our second half. And on the 10th play, the Knowles have a chance to tie it up with a PAT. And don't tell me halftime adjustments you don't have enough enough time to make halftime adjustments in the locker room. Absolutely you do, and they had to adjust quickly. They had a young quarterback, but they had to figure out a way to move the football with, with Rodemaker. Well, they went right to the running game, and a couple of uh, uh, scrambled by Rodemaker to keep the drive alive. And it's like Duncan just got sucked inside. He gives up a touchdown run. We were tied at 7, at 14, and now once again at 21. Noah so Feely outflanking the defense. And tied at 21, back in Louisville, Kentucky. ACC opener for Florida State coming on the road in 2022. Andre Ware, Roy Philpott, Paul Carcaterra, great crowd. And a fun game with offensive fireworks exploding here this evening. Let's see how this one concludes. It's never a must win this early in the season for both sides, but just teams trying to build towards something. With Scott Satterfield, year number four, Mike Norvell, year number three. And expectations always high at these schools. Yeah, when you're trying to get to a conference championship game, you know, all of these matter. We've got a good one tonight. Jordan back deep to receive for the cards. And he's going to take it from a yard deep. Jordan waiting for the convoy. It does not arrive. Drug down before the 15. Jawar Jordan on the return. And Malik comes. Look at him and review his first half right now. Yeah, he was magical in the first half of this one, both throwing it and running it. Pinpoint accuracy through the air and just throwing guys open at will. And when things break down, he was able to make plays with his legs. Really kind of feeling, feeling himself tonight. Having some fun doing so. The four-year starter has been as advertised as he takes down the, the record books here at Louisville. 
Play action for Cunningham on first down. Trying to buy some time. He'll step up once again. And Cunningham racing across the 20 for a nice game. You know, Andre, I heard you up in the booth during the break, and you said Louisville's turnovers, disaster. They could have ran away with this game. That's what Sa Scott Satterfield told me at half. He was fuming over the two fumbles, the penalties, careless mistakes. Offensively, he's thrilled with the run game. He said the inside run game, there's been a lot of seams happy with the offensive line. Defensively, need to get after this quarterback who doesn't have the experience of Jordan Travis. Flush him out of the pocket, but you saw him. He could move better than you thought. There's no doubt. Targ, I think he surprised and Rodney. He surprised everybody with that scramble for a first down. And one of the first things, Scott Satterfield, when we talked to him earlier in the week, I asked him, what's the keys to, to the game for you this week against Florida State? And he said, the first thing, we have to eliminate pre-snap penalties and turnovers. Well, both those two things happen in the first half. Third down and one. Jordan picks up two. The drive stays alive for the Ville. So Florida State opening possession of the third quarter. Races in for the tying touchdown. Malik Cunningham and company would love to equal what their opposing team just was able to accomplish. And now from the 25. 23rd overall meeting time for Cunningham. Pocket collapsing. There he goes. Cunningham leapfrogs the 30 and driven down there. Gain of seven. On a pretty good block by Michael Gonzalez, number 68, who is in the ball game for Trevor Reed, an outstanding athlete. It was Trevor Reed, but he's, he, this guy was highly recruited, has stepped in and filled some big shoes, kept the heat off Malik Cunningham, and that's not an easy job stepping into play left tackle for a talented player like Trevor Reed. On second and three, misdirection and stops short of the line. It's Travion Cooley. One yard pickup. Now I may go right back to Cunningham. Let's get him on the edges and let him go to work. Card tonight, 162 yards on the ground on 34 attempts. He's going to try to knock Florida State off the ball here, it looks like, with a couple of tight ends and Ford and, and, Isaac, and Isaac Martin. And they tighten the wide receivers down a little bit. Nine in the box. Cunningham to throw on third and short. Incomplete. Now looking for Isaac Martin. Blanket coverage by Kalen Deloach. Oh, excellent coverage by the speedy sideline to sideline linebacker in Deloach. I mean, he is right there every step that Isaac Martin made. Saw him earlier in the game, tracked down Cunningham. I don't see that much out of linebackers. The Loach has been outstanding tonight. Derek McClendon's done a nice job over at that defensive end spot, number nine for the Knowles. Did want to clean up the fact I mentioned it was McClellan in the first half. Instead, it was McClendon. And McClendon has been a force at times. That's a good punt. Pittman. Spun out of bounds short of the 20. A punt of 56 and a return of six yards. Knowles get it back when we come back. Well, the air raid State. and Will Rogers. Yeah, Mississippi State has gone there and won before, so not intimidated in the least bit. Knowles get it back. Backup quarterback remains on the field. Jordan Travis out for the rest of this game. Tate Rodemaker, the handoff nets eight to Trayshawn Ward. He went right back to the formula that led him on a 10-play, 75-yard drive that took 602. Eight runs, just two passes by Rodemaker, and Toa Feely ends up in the end zone. So they go right back to that formula. Travis injured in that second quarter would appear to be a lower leg injury on second and short no gain Ben Perry led the charge now this is a fast Louisville defense they've got a lot of speed Florida State better serve coming downhill at the line of scrimmage where you can lean on Louisville's front under five to go in the third quarter tied at 21 
Third down and two. Rodemaker drops the snap. And he's going to be sacked all the way back at the 21. Desmond Tell got there first. If I'm a defensive coordinator in my next life, I am always going to line a nose guard up over the center because it forces him to, especially when a quarterback's in the shotgun, forces you to have to snap it quickly and get your hands up. And sometimes it goes offline exactly like it happened right there. Force the guy to, to snap it and get his hands up quickly, and then you live with the result. But I would always put someone over the center's face. The last thing you want to be is a defensive play caller in your next life, though, right? No. You want to come back as another quarterback. I want to ring up the scoreboard. Eight TFL for the Louisville defense. Braden Smith ushered out near the 45. Now this season, All-State will celebrate every... It's drive. Defense has held up its end. And now it's time for the offense to get cranking like it was earlier in this game. Last three drives for the cards. A fumble and two punts. I, didn't, I really didn't like that condensed formation on third down. Spread them out. That way you give Cunningham a chance to open. You open up the field to him. Field's open for Cunningham this time. Zings it incomplete and out of bounds. And a little underthrow there. Really couldn't step into that one. Hudson, the intended target. He had Gonzalez, his left tackle, kind of backing up into where he was planting his left leg to deliver the football out Second wide. And that one fall, fell a little bit short of uh, Tyler Hudson. Dre, you mentioned going out to that last break, it felt like Florida State had stolen momentum yeah. to start the second half. And now teetering once again and a chance here for the Cardinals. Need to pick up a first down. And then you know you, could, you, you would feel it again swing its way over to Louisville. Cooley bobbled the exchange, recovers to pick up six, maybe seven in the Florida State territory. The tackle by Akeem Dent. And what I like there on the tail end of it, he found himself in a crowded area with that other hand over the football. Secure the football. He had a couple of fumbles here in this game already. Cooley did, and so now making sure that you take care of the football. Ball security on this drive. Now, don't tighten this thing down. Spread them out, keep them out wide, and allow Malik Cunningham to do his thing. Cardinals 5 of 10 on third down tonight. They need four yards here. Cunningham off the back foot. Crosser is there to Hudson, but stopped two yards short. And Hudson is crossing too shallow. When you cross, you got to at least be at the first down marker. And then when you're tackled, you're already there, and it's the first down, not worrying about fourth and one. I think Scott Satterfield's going to roll the dice here a little bit. Saw this last week at UCF. In the second half, fourth and medium going for it. And coming up short, eighth tackle tonight for Renardo Green. The clock getting down to about 10 seconds. Fourth and one. And another false start. With a pre-snap penalties false tonight. Start. Number zero. And have been costly. It's amazing. Five now you penalty. got to punt the football. Fourth down. Dre, both sides of the ball for the Ville. Six pre-snap infractions. Six pre-snap penalties. Four false start penalties. And that's a receiver. All you got to do is look down inside. Where are you going? Just look down inside and... Scott Satterfield, film room tomorrow, will not be happy with those mistakes. I might have snapped by now if I'm the quarterback. If I'm Malik Cunningham, I, I probably would have chewed somebody on the sideline by now. Bassett back on the field. Pittman is as well for Florida State. New life again for the Knowles in a tie game. Fair catch made near the 11 and a punt of 40. Well, gentlemen, it's the Friday night spotlight. It's Florida State left tackle Robert Scott Jr. He fell in love with art as a young boy in Conway, Arkansas. He was making them unique and his own. He focuses on graffiti and sneaker art. And I'll tell you what, he's super talented and he can block as well. Sneakers are sweet, man. 
Fantastic story from Clark. And they were the run, run off the right side by Benson. Sonogo ready and waiting. No gain on the play. I have to send a, a FedEx package down to Robert Scott. And that can't Some be shoes, easy man. as no, well. I mean, that, that's sweet. And, and it's not, you know, he's he's on to something because I, I looked into having that done for Z. And for it's not son. it's not cheap. Yeah. It's not cheap to get it done. Scott, the redshirt sophomore out of Conway, Arkansas. Second and ten, Rodemaker remains in at quarterback. Benson slipped near the line. Give him a gain of one third down and nine. So as he did last week against UCF, Brian Brown starting to mix up the recipe defensively. And they're on to this Florida State running game. We're going to defend the run. We're going to take that away and force the youngster to beat us through the air. Dialing up the right stuff at the right time is Brian Brown, the D.C. And perhaps trying to take away that slant that we saw to Wilson to start the third quarter here on third and long. Rodemaker with time. Ball is tipped and driven down. Well, Yasir Abdullah. Had an interception in the first half that was negated due to replay. Later had a clean pick that stood, and there, the tip ball near the line of scrimmage. Well, he is having some kind of game. Five total tackles. You mentioned the interception, a tackle for the for a loss, a quarterback hurry. He's been all over the place. So after the touchdown drive by FSU, back-to-back -back three and outs forced by the Cardinals' defense. Braden Smith back deep to receive this punt. Good punt. And driven back to the 38. Try to reverse field. Florida State special teams have been outstanding this year. And that trend continues after a punt of 52. Now don't forget, Kevin, up next Friday, we will stay in the AC, the first year head coach in Charlottesville. Andre Ware, Roy Philpott, Paul Clark Katera in Louisville this evening in a tie game. Cunningham keeps it, reverses field, and there goes Malik again. Cunningham, one man to beat. Driven down inside the 25 by Jamie Robinson. That's a gain of 40. A special, special, special player is Malik Cunningham. You stay up all night devising a defensive scheme to stop him because you know at some point he's going to do this. He reverses field and as fast as any player on the field. Big play waiting to happen by number three. The final play of the third quarter has Louisville in business in a tight. 15 minutes to go back inside Cardinal Stadium. We are tied at 21. Andre Ware, Roy Philpott, Paul Carcaterra. The Cards have the ball on the move. Deep in FSU territory on first down. Jordan's going to be tripped up crossing the 20, a gain of five. And this is where they've gone back to how they started the game with Jordan coming downhill. Louisville's ground game. Before that carry, 36 carries, two, 208 and two touchdowns, averaging about just under six yards per carry. Dominant in that area. Cunningham's been better than that. 97 yards on the ground. Would love to add to the tally. And he will. Cunningham to the end zone. Touchdown cards. My, my, my. My, 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 my. What a talent in red wearing number three tonight. Quarterback draw all the way for Cunningham. Sneaks his way through, picks a nice block, picks up a nice block by Jordan, and then makes two defenders. Not one, Roy, but two defenders miss on his way into the end zone. 14 carries, 115 yards for number three, Malik Cunningham. His ninth career 100-yard rushing performance. He could do anything, Andre. Yes, he can. Put a cape on him because he's playing like Superman tonight. When the MVP, Lamar Jackson, and he is on his way wearing the Cards uniform in his career. A touchback. And now, Andre, where if you're Florida State, what do you want to see the Knowles do? Obviously, they need points, but 
how do you want to see him get there? I want to see him spread the ball, spread the formation out, or spread the, uh, Louisville out formationally, and then try to run the football there. They're too tight in that last possession, so it, now Louisville's able to kind of crowd everything up and rally to the football as well. They've got to mix in a couple of pass plays. They went straight run that last possession. Got to let the youngster throw it, throw it around. If it's just slants or curls or even a fade route where he goes to uh, the big receiver, Johnny Wilson, with the, with the sure hands. But you have got to spread Louisville out a little bit, not allow him to crowd the box as he did in the previous possession. Jordan Travis injured in the first half, will not return. Tate Rodemaker, three of six passing, sacked at the 21. They're bringing the heat in the Ville. I'll tell you what, Brian Brown, the defensive coordinator challenging his group. This is a group that stepped up last week when we had the game, held UCF to uh, You love to see the Louisville basketball team receiving their Maui Invitational surfboard as Louisville turns to the Maui Invitational back after a hiatus. They'll take on Arkansas November 21st. Talk a little college basketball. As Robert Scott Jr. was helped off the field, Darius Washington checks in now at left tackle for Florida State, decimated by injuries tonight. Jordan Travis, Robert Scott Jr., and Jared Verse, just to name a few, all outs. Rodemaker with time, and he's one deep, has a man, and it's caught Johnny Wilson! Wilson down the far sideline, it'll be first down and goal for Florida State. What a throw by the youngster, and just talking about Johnny Wilson. Where is he? Got to get him involved in the passing game. Well, young Rodemaker finds him, throws only the best ball of his career to Wilson to get Florida State down inside the red zone and right back into this game. A gain of 69 yards. Wilson over 100 yards receiving. And on that play alone with his 69 passing yards, he only had 28 total beforehand. The slant is there, the touchdown is. Guess who? Johnny Wilson. Six foot seven, 235 pounds. Transferred in from Arizona State, and I would just force feed Wilson. They can line him up everywhere. They've done it, they did it in the first half. But you've got to find a way to get the ball to this kid. Amazing. Play action pass, holding the linebackers. It just opens everything up on the back end for Wilson. Alex Atkins told us this week, Johnny Wilson can do it all. On that drive, that's exactly what he did. We have got one heck of a game tonight. The youngster. Stepping up in a major way for Jordan Travis. Tate Rodemaker with a deep shot to Johnny Wilson. And then it's, hey, a foot race that eventually he's going to run out of room, but he makes up the very next play in a play action and finding Wilson on a slant route. That big frame getting inside position. Florida State refusing to go away. How about the resiliency of this team on the road without three key stars on that drive? Robert Scott, we mentioned Jordan Travis. Then on defense, Jared Burst has been out majority of the night as well. And Rodemaker starting again to grow up. We'll use that word. He really is. They told us he could sling it around, and that's exactly what he's doing. Felt like they had to start to, mi start to mix a little more pass in there. Well, hey, you dial up a deep shot. Everybody's playing in the box. There's it's essentially no safeties for Louisville. They gave that look where there were nine in the box to stop the run. Well, if you can hold up just a little bit in pass protection, this kid will find them, and that's exactly what he did to Wilson. How much fun is this? That's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Just the back and forth of this game. Uh, both teams refusing to go away. Set for a fantastic finish, partner. Fourth time tonight we've been tied as we take a look at tonight's game flow. Well, you got Malik Cunningham on one sideline that's just making play after play after play. I mean, making guys just at times defenders look foolish. 
starting one way, out the back door the next. Big run after big run. He has been on display as the dual threat quarterback that we thought he would be tonight. He's chasing records at Louisville. Lighting Guess what? He's next up. It's his serve, baby. <laughs> I like the tennis analogy. Cunningham has been incredible. With time, we'll try to lead his receiver. And he does! Another big play for the cards. Amari Huggins Bruce tackled all the way down at the 20. And how about a gain of 55? The double nickel. The cards in business again. And Huggins Bruce down and injured himself. Slow to get up. The medical staff going to take a look at him. But how about this throw? We just talked about the dual threat ability of, of Malik Cunningham. And just, just lacing one right over a defender's head. It's the linebacker, Tatum Bethune, who cannot stay with Amari Huggins Bruce. But the throw is what wins on the play. He led him perfectly. Dropped it right in the breadbasket, and now the cards over 200 yards rushing and receiving an injury to Huggins Bruce. Well, we had a little bit of a lull in the second quarter, and then things started to pick up with Florida State scoring drive in the third. Yeah. And now we're right back where we started. Well, they've got a, just a bevy of talented receivers. We saw D. Wiggins, he went out of this game. Hudson has been, has stepped up at times. Huggins Bruce, he averaged over 16 yards a catch last season. He's got great speed and a lot of talent, and they really want to get him involved in the passing game. So it's good to see him get himself up. Lots of talent on this Louisville team. Yeah, you hope he's okay. And Huggins Bruce was legit as a freshman with almost 500 yards receiving. And D. Wiggins, you mentioned the injury. He's done for the day, Andre. He's in a boot. So Tyler Hudson, who Malik Cunningham told me, sees the game in a similar fashion to him. He's his go-to guy. He's still healthy. Cooley tackled from behind by D.J. Lundy. Loss of two. This, when you get down close to the red zone, this is where Malik gets. He, he shows you exactly how special he is. Almost willing this offense into the end zone. Florida State defensively going to have to have to rise up here and keep an eye, and that's the spy, Kalen Deloach, going to have to find Malik. Cunningham, a high toss, quickly corralled inside the 20 by Marshawn Ford as Bethune wrote him out. It felt like they would look his way with Bruce out, Wiggins out. Ford has been quiet tonight. Every time we have a game with Louisville, Ford is is going off. Had a big game last year against UCF. Had some big catches last week against UCF. Three targets, three receptions for just 15 yards for five in red and black this evening. It'll be third down and eight. Under 12 to go in this one. Cunningham, incomplete. Oh, good. Good coverage. Jamie Robinson swatted that one down with Tyler Hudson trying to find a way to grab it. An excellent position trying to run a slant. Never got inside of him. That way you got to flatten the route off where you don't allow Robinson to, to come into play. Almost becomes like a square in instead of a slant. James Turner. 35 yard attempt two for three this season this would match his longest of the year just inside the right hash cards are back in front 31 28 11 45 to go crunch time has arrived at Cardinals Stadium this ACC clash <laughs> it would be a dream this game has been a dream. Andre Ware, Roy Philpott, Paul Carcaterra. And for the 35-yard field goal by James Turner, the Ville back in front. And another chance for Tate Rodemaker. Let's go back and take a look. Look at all the guys. Two, four, six, eight. Um, eight of them in the box here. And Rodemaker does a heck of a job of reading coverage, 
knowing that he's going to have one on one with Wilson and the safety Duncan who just can't run with him. He takes an angle and that's the only way he's able to catch up with Wilson to get him out of bounds. They come right back and connect again for the touchdown pass. He's been in long enough now where he's got enough game experience in such a short period of time where you can spread him out and trust that he's going to get the ball out and deliver it accurately. Wilson's been incredible. Toa Feely crossing the 25. That pitch and catch to Wilson going 69 yards. Longest play of the season for the yeah. Knowles. And with Robert Scott Jr. out at left tackle, if Florida State can, or they feel as though they can hold up in protection, then you can run, run everything. I thought they went to that a little bit too early and then backed off of it and got conservative, but the youngster is really, he stepped up and kept them in this game. Conversation, conversation rather, shifts a little bit with the injury to Travis. Rodemaker would love to keep it going. See if FSU is back. Wilson this time. Double coverage, a late penalty marker. Jarvis Brownlee, the Florida State transfer deep down the field, and this is going to be an automatic first down. Pass interference. Defense. Right. 12. 15 yard Johnny penalty. Wilson is making himself. Seven, and you can run like that in body position, guys. I mean, it's almost the second coming of Mike Evans. It's got that vibe to it. It really does. That's a great. Bet you he can hoop. Bet you Johnny Wilson can hoop. And Mike Evans sure could. I watched him do it at Hot Finds in a, a playoff game with Galveston Ball when he was in high school. After the pass interference, a 15 yard infraction. Right edge run. That's six, almost seven. I'm with you, Andre. I think Rodemaker knows he's got something in Johnny Wilson. They spent time on the sideline before this series. You can tell they were working something up. He's got single coverage a lot on the outside. And when you talk to Alex Atkins, his offensive coordinator, Johnny Wilson is not a one trick pony. It's not just leap up and get the ball. He's got wheels. Rodemaker passes low and incomplete. It was thrown on a rope. Malik McLean, the intended receiver, and it'll be third down and four. Yeah, one of these other receivers, where whether it's Pittman or McLean or even a tight end, and Cameron McDonald, McDonald are going to have to step up and help. Wilson because you're going to start to draw safety help over the top and somebody else is going to have to step up and do the job right here on third down Wilson split out wide and he's got Brownlee to his side it's been a struggle for Rodemaker on third down Knowles need four they'll hand it off Benson's got the first down and a lot more into Louisville territory, tumbling across the 40. That's a gain of 12. And we got another Louisville player down, but a nice job by the right side of this offensive line, Maurice Smith, this Emmanuel. Turnatine, the right tackle, moving bodies and paving the way for this trio of running backs for Florida State. Another injury, Dre. You mentioned it. We'll step aside. Media timeout. The new iPhone 14 Pro. Florida State trailing by three, approaching 10 to play. And in Louisville territory. Tate Rodemaker is the quarterback for the injured Jordan Travis. To the edge, and there goes Trey Benson. Cuts it back inside, stops short of the goal line. It'll be first and goal for FSU. And half the distance to the goal because there's a face mask. I mean, he, he had a run like that with a face mask penalty. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number seven. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Gain of 37, Dre. Didn't even stop him. I mean, you talk about three talented backs. And if Florida State is going to go where they want this year, it's going to be because of the offensive line and these three talented backs. And that would mix in Mr. Johnny Wilson as well. Well, they have got enough offensively, and I think Tate Rodemaker, who has come in here with with Jordan Travis out, 
has really, really kept this thing together and is leading his football team. If you're a Florida State fan, Tate Rodemaker gives you hope tonight. Absolutely. And for the foreseeable future as Travis is out for an extended period. Time out. Florida State. Their second of the half. 30 second second timeout. timeout taken by Mike Norvell wants to make sure that he has got everything in place before the ball is snapped. First and goal. And I don't blame him one bit because basically touchdown gives him the lead right here. Want to make sure everything's secure. Coming up Monday night, we've got two contests headed your way. Derrick Henry and the Titans battle Josh Allen and the Bills. It's right here on ESPN 715 Eastern. Then at 8.30, ABC, ESPN Plus, ESPN Deportes. How about the Eagles and the Vikings? The new and improved Jalen Hurts. 8.30 Eastern versus Justin Jefferson. And Hurts and A.J. Brown have developed quite a chemistry. I can throw it to those, those two right now. Can you give me those two right there? Make a little money doing <laughs> that. Hey, A.J. Brown, outstanding start to the season along with Justin Jefferson and the gritty. Love it. Two games. Monday night. Under nine and a half to play. Benson stays in at running back. Ninth play of the drive for the Knowles. And straight ahead. Wyatt Rector takes it and is stopped short of the goal line. I got a question. What was that? Why would you get cute down here? You're gouging them in the running game with the three backs. Toafili's got a touchdown run. Benson has one. Ward just broke a big one earlier. Actually, it was Benson broke one. Don't get cute down on this, down here. Punch it in the, the way that you got yourself into this position. And another injured player at the bottom of that pile. Run officials time out. Yaya Diaby. For an injured defensive player. Slow to get up. And I say that because you're, you're going to interject the guy that doesn't take snaps all the time. And all of a sudden, the ball goes on the ground. Now you're regretting it. You're getting killed after this game. So do not put yourself in that position. And that came after the timeout. Done on the ground, the nation's fifth best rushing attack coming into tonight. And pick your poison, a three-headed monster in that backfield. Yeah, Ward. It was Ward on this one that broke a long one. The youngster at quarterback has fought his way. Third down and long. Hey, I can run it as well and pick up a first down. And then you bring in Benson, who has been magical. Florida State holding it together. Joe Feely with a touchdown run of it in his own right. They have fought and scratched with their quarterback, Jordan Travis, out. They are right here knocking on the door to take the lead in this ballgame. And the last time the Knowles had the advantage, it was 7-0. Early stages of the first quarter. Toa Philly, the running back. The jet sweep around the left side goes Pittman. Getting cute again. Can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Forward progress was stopped short of the goal line by Perrier. He's trying to jet sweep with Micah Pittman, and he's not going anywhere. So you bring a guy in to take a snap in Rector, who doesn't normally handle it. You get down here, and you get cute with Pittman. It's almost like an accident waiting to happen. Ward is averaging 12 and a half yards of carry. Benson's over seven, about seven and a half. And Tofili is at four and a half. Give the ball to one of the three. Benson checks in. Rodemaker keeps it. Looking for Wilson back corner. Touchdown, Florida State. Right over Jarvis Brownlee. What a throw by Rodemaker. It's put in a position where either Wilson's going to catch it or no one and how about the footwork on the back end let's take a look at the right foot of Wilson down inbounds securing the catch heck that's good on Sundays what a throw and what an incredible catch on the back end of it 
That's 6'7 versus 5'11, and oh, he, that's the difference. Yeah, he didn't get the foot down the second one, the right, but all, I mean the left, but all it takes is the right, and Florida State back on top. Seven receptions, 149 yards, and two touchdowns. Johnny Wilson would love to introduce himself to the rest of the country tonight with this performance. Oh, I think he already has. It's Tate Rodemaker. His turn now to introduce himself to the country. An outstanding job. And you mentioned the size difference in Brownlee and Wilson. What a weapon to have at six foot seven and can leap with great hands and good outstanding route running ability. Florida State refusing to go away on the road. Unbelievable performance by the Knowles offense. Back in front, 35-31, and we still have just under eight minutes to play. Next up, Malik Cunningham. I can hear the smile. And there's, there, I mean, with that kind of drive, there is pressure on Louisville sideline to go down and put points on the board right now because Tate Rodemaker has proven that he can lead his team down the field, not only lead them, but chew up plot in the process. The running game for Florida State is showing itself again. What a wild finish here tonight. The precursor to what could be another wild weekend of college football. The upsets we saw a week ago. Could more be in store tomorrow. Hughes with Virginia coming to town. And a handoff to Jordan, cross at a 30. Eight yard right, game. Right in the back of one of his receivers, Brandon Smith. Otherwise, he might still be running. Cards now at 237 rushing yards. Officially a gain of seven for Jordan. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left for Louisville. But elects to utilize any of those stoppages. First down run will move the chains. And utilizes some clock in the process. He started out this way with Jordan. The offensive line in, in their own right lost their left tackle. And Trevor Reed, Michael Gonzalez has stepped in and done one heck of a job at left tackle for Louisville. And now they're putting their running backs on display. And yeah, no Tyon Evans, no Jalen Mitchell this evening. The Louisville offense play action Cunningham quick toss and it's incomplete. Huggins Bruce tried to dive down to get it couldn't do it coverage by Dent. Yeah, McClendon, Rick McClendon got there quickly and forced Malik Cunningham to get rid of that football a little bit quicker than he might have wanted to. McClendon a driven player we were told this week by Adam Fuller and has been a difference maker tonight those first half stops we referenced earlier getting after Malik Cunningham there clean pocket Braden Smith it's one man miss close to the line to gain and, got it. and that second effort will move the chains just refusing to go down and somebody stepped in there and gave him a little help Those offensive linemen stepped in and helped him along a little bit. But I like what he did after the catch, just right up the field. Don't dance, don't try to make defenders miss. Engage and look for some help. A little bush push there at the very end. And Luke Kandra was, was helping with that push. Big touch for Smith. Across the middle, Hudson. Dragged down right near midfield by Renardo Green. Another tackle for Green, who has been active tonight. Man, you would like to see that route run at about five yards, so when you, get, get, when you catch it and you're tackled, and you've got you know second down and medium as opposed to second and seven. You gotta, that'll be an emphasis in film this week. Nine tackles for Renardo Green. Cunningham keeps it. First time on this possession we've seen him. Tried to get to the edge, a two-yard pickup. It'll be third down. How about DeLoach? DeLoach right there in his hip pocket. I'm not sure he's the one that tripped him up, but he was right in his hip pocket, and Florida State's got another defensive player down. Now, Cunningham also got up a little gingerly. And that'll stop play 
This incredible game for the moment. 35-31. Florida State trying to remain undefeated. And Malcolm Ray, the injured knoll. Well, they rotate about four inside. Ray, Jackson, Cooper, and you mentioned Lovett out of out of this one. They had to mix and match a little bit already inside. I'd love to have him get up. Match up next week against Boston College. Coverage starts Friday. Then play in ACC PM. Broadcasting live outside of Doe Campbell as well on Saturday. Beginning bright and early at 11 a.m. Eastern. Mike Norvell looking on. Wheels are turning. Injuries are mounting for both sides this evening. Big third down here for Louisville from a momentum standpoint. And they need to get on the board with a touchdown. Dennis Briggs slides in. Cunningham to the edge. Stop short. Driven out. Oh. I thought maybe late there's a flag coming. Deloach got there again, Dre. Now fourth down. They talked about the speed of number four, and he was going to spy Lamar Jackson in this game. Well, you void an area when that happens. They haven't exploited it yet where they move Malik Cunningham around and then throw to the spot that Deloach has vacated. But step for step, he has been magical for Florida State's defense. Parts are going to go for it on fourth down and two. Pressure, Cunningham, crosser, incomplete! Tyler Hudson, the intended receiver, Akeem Dent was there. And a turnover on downs gives it back to Florida State. They have run this play several times tonight. And every time they've been a little bit short and it, no one's come clean. And you've got to credit the secondary of Florida State that, is, that when they go man to man, they have been right in the hip pockets of these receivers. With Akeem Dent stepping up, making a play for his defense, and here comes Florida State and the youngster Rodemaker with a chance to to really solidify this football game for Florida State. Andre, would you have liked to have seen a run pass option there? Oh yeah, definitely. Rodemaker back on the field, deep handoff next two as Ward is stopped. They're going to need one heck of an effort. And a quick one here, a quick three and out by this defense. They've been able to step up when needed for the last two weeks. And they really need them right now to, to produce a punt. Cards have all three timeouts remaining. That's a factor. Ward stays on the field. Play clock winds down under 15. Rodemaker like a veteran trying to waste some time. Perfect. Now wants to go to the air. Contact. Late penalty marker. Two in fat fly. Keytrail Clark working against Johnny Wilson, who has just taken this game over tonight. Personal foul. We may have two separate penalties. One official indicating pass interference, the other. Obviously talking about a personal foul. There are two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Personal foul. Look at the pass at number seven. That penalty is declined. Pass interference, number 13. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. You know, the transfer from Liberty, the guilty party. But there are a lot of scouts right now wondering who is number 14. My goodness. Go at Arizona State, 12 catches, 154 yards. Got that tonight. <laughs> that was in five games, and you're exactly correct. <laughs> 11th penalty against Louisville. Florida State now, Cardinals territory. Under four to go. Ward, another penalty flag. He was tripped up from behind at the 25. Trayshawn Ward is a holding number 76. Offense. Ten yard penalty. First down. That's Darius Washington yeah. who slid in at left tackle to replace Robert Scott Jr. Yeah, Ward is a former walk-on that 
is just, I mean, he has provided left, big play after big play. And we'll watch big number 76, Washington, with a hole. Not sure he needed. Plays away from him. Right. Didn't really need to do it. And Ward was through the hole so quickly, I'm almost positive he didn't need to do it. So instead of a big play on the ground, it's first down and 20. Mm. Ward again makes a man miss. Trayshawn Ward picks up the first down and another punishing finish. Amazing run by Ward. So when his team needed it. Keep this clock running. At some point, Scott Satterfield's going to have to start taking some timeouts. But missed tackle by Dorian Jones. And that kind of allowed Ward to get himself up the field to square up. And then we see the speed as well as the power on the end of that, that run. We'll trade Ward out, Toa Feely, after a 25-yard pickup. The Knolls now have amassed 187 rushing yards tonight. And Ward is over the century mark as well. What a luxury to take Ward out, go with Toa Feely, and, and not miss a beat. He'll get it right side, quickly corral. Field goal would keep it at a touchdown game, a one possession affair. Abdullah the tackle. Yeah, they got three guys that can run at you. And you mentioned Trayshawn Ward, over 100 yards, Andre. A walk-on three-star running back, Robert Scott, told me when we spoke this week, said the first time he saw Trayshawn Ward run, he said, wow, that boy is nice. And he runs every play like it's last. He's got that walk-on mentality, that ship that he wants to prove himself every single time he steps on the field and gets the rock. I think all three running backs, they run like, you know, it's their last carry because they know the next guy coming in is just as talented. High snap, Toa Feely has it, left side run. Yeah, the other comment on Ward, he has the most attitude in that running back room as Chandler Jones made the tackle. Timeout will be called by Louisville. Have to, have to call it now. I thought he might spin one after the first down call or the first down run and a quick stop. Now the story outside of the Travis injury, Johnny Wilson, seven grabs, 149 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah, started him off with a simple slant, trying to ease Tate Rodemaker into this game, and then they opened it up. And the big six foot seven receiver got behind coverage, tracked him down the very next play, inside position on a slant route for six points. He didn't stop there, came right back, back of the end zone, gets one toe down in the back. For, for another touchdown, and he just keeps making plays, play after play. Amazing night for Johnny Wilson. Question for you, the quarterback and wannabe offensive coordinator, is Mike Norvell thinking about, let's find a way to pick up a first down here in two plays instead of kick the field goal? We would basically ice the game if he did, and they, he would like to, to pick it up right here, quite honestly. And, and not give Louisville's offense a chance. So third down is when he wants to convert it. It'll be about a 39-yard field goal from here. Third and eight. Benson gets it. Benson will be stopped crossing the 20. So a makeable field goal for Ryan Fitzgerald. This tackle by Sunogo. Now remember, Fitzgerald missed one earlier in the first quarter. So I'm not trying to put the game in the kicker's hands. I get it. We talk about that all the time at dinner. You live your life by that motto. I do. You don't trust the kicker. It's not that I don't trust him. I, I trust what's on the field a little bit more. There's a level of trust. I mean, we talked about this the other day. I trusted Roman Anderson. I trusted Jason Hansen and Eddie Murray. Oh, Hansen was an absolute, absolute amazing kicker. Almost automatic. But if I've got a chance to put the game away as a quarterback, then that's, that's the way I want to go about doing it. Well, you mentioned Fitzgerald missed from 37 earlier tonight. And on the field with an injured Seminole as well and Dylan Gibbons. Right in that, right around that area, 35 or so. They just sent it wide. Bothered Fitzgerald at the last possible moment. Right off the edge, and he just pushes it. And they're right down around that same area right now. Gibbons helped off the field. Fourth down and five. 
Cards have one timeout remaining, and this to make it a seven point game. Officially a 36 yard attempt. Just inside the left hash. On the way, and he missed it. One to the right, one to the left. And still with a chance. Malik Cunningham, the four-year starter for Louisville, gets a shot. Just here, just hooked it. Never really had a chance. And here come the Cardinals. All the way down to the wire, partner. A familiar feel. That's why I don't put a whole lot of trust in the kicker. Do it myself. The LSU game came down to the final play. It was a special teams. And I was a kicker once. Play that was the school. difference. <laughs> I'm trying to get you past it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Here comes Cunningham. And from the 20. Cards looking to go 80 yards with one timeout. Screen pass behind Cooley. He gets it and dives ahead for a short gain of three. That's trying to get a drive started with a screen. It's usually a screen or a, a draw play right to the line of scrimmage. Plenty of time. Quick snap. Cunningham has it. We'll swing it out. Cooley again. Big yardage. First down. With Deloach. Such speed to track him down. He had what a player number four right in the middle of the formation reads it and then he's got to get out there and he's able to get there and inbounds that's a nice job by Cooley to, to stop the clock Birch are trying to beat Florida State for the third straight time Cunningham heaves one deep dangerous pass and Hudson stopped a little bit short there it'll be second and ten there's a lot of trust by Adam Fuller in this secondary. It's a man to man. Usually you're trying to keep everything in front of you playing zone at this, this point in the game when a team has to go down and score. He's got guys running man to man, step for step with these Louisville receivers. Too high with man underneath. From the 35. Knowles with a four point lead. Cards with a timeout to work with. Cunningham fires a rocket that is incomplete and broken up at the last second. Shaheen Brown, the hero against LSU with a block PAT, working against Braden Smith. What a play. Watch the closing speed of Brown. This is going to be a completion to Smith and a big one, and just able to get a finger on the ball. Third down and ten. You take your eyes off number three in this situation if you're Florida State. There he goes. Cunningham escapes. Trying to race out of bounds. He will get there to stop the clock short of the line to gain. It'll bring up fourth down, and Akeem Dent was in the neighborhood. Fourth down and three, Andre. Some play Dent with that one. The, the Deloach escort out of out of bounds. Whew. All comes down to this. Nervous moments in Cardinal Stadium. Cunningham floats it. Cooley has it. Cooley racing ahead. Did he get there? The second effort, I believe, moves the chains. And he forced Deloach to miss him, who had a great angle inside out. Cooley able to sidestep him. The momentum, as you mentioned, second effort. Picks up the first down. Clock winding down after the brief stop to move the sticks. Cutting in by some time. High pass. Was it picked up? Yes, it was. Knowles have it. Wow. Kevin Knowles with the interception. And Florida State's going to find a way on the road. 
Just overthrew the intended receiver. Kevin Knowles pretty much sealing. Well, off the back foot, had a defender in his face, forced it. Oh, yeah, toe tap. An interception. It's under Jared Jackson here. with the pressure, forcing the overthrow. Oh, yeah, tap, toe taps down inbounds, and all you got to do now is sit on it. And think about what a play like that means for number 12 in white tonight. Jared Jackson transferring in from Louisville. Has been a force. Matt Austin confirming for us in the booth as well. You see possession, two feet inbounds. And that play would be good on a Sunday afternoon. Absolutely. How about Florida State's the resiliency to stay in this game? Didn't panic. Rodemaker came in a little nervous early, but then he played through the nerves and, and started to find his way. The running game helped him out. A couple of quick passes, a couple of slants. Johnny Wilson got going, and Florida State found some momentum and really never gave it back. It was back and forth for a while, but what a game. Johnny Wilson, the redshirt sophomore, taking a long look at this to make sure that he was indeed in bounds. I thought for sure Knowles was in bounds. Florida That's State on the verge of improving to 3 0 for the first time since 2015. What a game, partner. What a game. Now it's let's secure it. Call was confirmed, and Mike Norvell, well, he knew it wasn't going to be easy tonight, no. and it has not been. He didn't know it would take Tate Rodemaker. His backup quarterback with Jordan Travis injured in the first half to do it. But Tate was up to the task, and he found a way this evening. Did an outstanding job having to come in, forced into the duty tonight with Jordan Travis out of this one. And he went to work. Florida State, the questions are, are they back? Well, they are, they are certainly well on their way to being back. You can come into this environment and win a football game. Outstanding without your quarterback, without your left tackle. A couple of defenders go down. Hats off to Mike Norvell. On the road, FSU wins its ACC opener by a final score of 35 to 31. For Andre Ware, Paul Carcaterra, I'm Roy Philpott saying good night from Louisville. Coming up right now, Sports Center. Roy Heisman, thank you so much. What a finish.